he's about to go live. I gotta make up for yesterday's live. Oh, look who look who did a video two weeks ago. I gotta watch that. Uh, conspiracy theories. Oh, what? He got a new conspiracy theory? I gotta watch that too. Golly, when you try to open up YouTube to go live and it just recommended you all this great content to watch, what? I'm about to watch all that stuff. I can't wait. I'm excited. Oh, man. I, it's not going to happen tonight, though, because this is going to be a long live stream. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. But let me see here. Let me turn it on. What's up, people? How y'all doing? Did y'all miss me yesterday? Did you? I missed you guys. <laughs> y'all. Hold on, hold on. I can't even say nothing right now. I just gotta, I gotta do some stuff here, and then I'll say what I got to say, what I need to say, got to say. Okay, okay. There we go. Now I can say what I need to say. What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy Arden Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. This, the light is not illuminating my green screen well enough to get rid of that little cloud behind me because the battery's going low and the ch I could get another battery on the charger but it's I don't want to I don't want to leave you guys right now because I already wasn't here yesterday but anyway now we good we good I, we good we good okay y'all uh, Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. Um, I was handling some business, some other business that I got with my business partner outside of YouTube. And that ran real late last night. Um, we didn't wrap it up until about 10.30 last night. After that, your boy got a little tired. So I was like, you know what? I'll do live stream tomorrow. But y'all, we got a slap cam video here tonight. And this video in particular is a long one. It's about two hours long. We might be here for three hours. I don't even know, but I know one thing. Y'all might want to go ahead and use the bathroom. Grab your popcorn, snacks, cookies, whatever it is that you're going to snack on. Get a healthy snack. Grab an apple, some fruit or something, an orange so you can peel it. I don't know. But we're going to be here because I got to make up for last night. And yeah, this video is titled Terrifying Videos That Will Keep You Up at Night. Look, for a video to be this long, I'm more than sure we've seen some of the stuff that's in this video. More than sure. But uh, we're about to get this party started. Let me go ahead and shout some people out. No, you ain't late. We just got here, baby. I ain't even click on the video yet. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? D2 World. Better late than never. You know that's right, baby. Thank you for the dono, too. We here. See some of my channel members up in here. Uh, how you say your name? Adelisa? That's a beautiful name right there. Trippy. What's going on with you? What is going on? Guadalupe. Cam, what's going on with you? Miss Miss Hopper, I see you up in here. I see you up in here. All right, y'all, we're about to get this party started. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let go. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this, this is Slap Cam. Yeah. So today we have something a little bit special. It's some bonus content for the week. Okay. It's a huge compilation of some super scary video clips that are freaking the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. <laughs> Let's watch. In 2013, the idea for the video doorbell was first introduced. Hey, it's been Since around that long and it took me 10 years to get one. The product has been mass marketed. Users such as Redditor Love Crystals from Dallas, Texas have been picking up strange things on their doorbell footage. Wait, nah, me and my mom had a camera doorbell. No, not doorbell. Peepo. We had a camera peepo one time. That was pretty cool. It seems that these cameras are good for catching glimpses of more than just human intruders. The camera that recorded this footage seems to have been placed near the top of the user's garage. The footage shows a driveway and a parked car outside the user's house late one night. Yo, wait, that camera peepo was freaking awesome. It was like the ring doorbell. Because anytime somebody would come to the door, it would have a motion detector on the other side. So we can look at the doorbell from the inside of the home, but it's a, a, a freaking a monitor. It was awesome. It was awesome. It isn't unusual for these cameras to pick up mysterious videos of passers-by or animals. 
However, this footage shows something else entirely. What the freak? Where did they come in from? In the driveway near the car appear two small bipedal creatures. They wander around the driveway for... They just appear out of nowhere and they're walking like humans but tiny. They're no bigger than the tire. Several seconds. When they approach the car itself, we can see that they're about the same height as the tires. That's what I most said. Most likely between 15 and 19 inches. That's what I said. And now they just walk. They walk. The creatures are no, Those are. What are these? These are dwarfs. These are lawn gnomes. Shape with extremely small legs that cause them to walk with a waddling gait as they explore the user's driveway. They're entirely in shadow, making it impossible to discern any specific features. Exactly, I can't see nothing. <laughs> they look like they're walking. The viewers of the video on Reddit have suggested that the creatures could be something as normal as large birds, perhaps even owls. I don't know, man. <laughs> They'll walk like owls. However, others are less sure. It's odd to see such large birds walking around on the ground for such a lengthy time. Others believe that the creatures are some sort of cryptid that resembles a gnome or perhaps even garden gnomes that have come to life. That's what I said. Without additional footage or sightings, it's difficult to determine what these unusual creatures might be. Perhaps this Redditor's security camera will yield more mysterious videos. Perhaps. According to a post uploaded by Redditor, Datboy475, working in a fire station has dangers other than fires. Huh. In this footage, we see what many believe could only be ghostly activity. Huh. This video, which appears to be recorded on a smartphone camera, begins in chaos. Everything's going on. The camera holder is in the office area of the fire station and everything around them is pandemonium. The lights on the phones and other electrical equipment are blinking on and off rapidly, as are the lights on the ceiling. Everything's going off. The person holding the phone whips the camera around, attempting to take in the full scope of the chaos. At first, all of the crazy blinking lights seem as if they could be caused by some sort of electrical malfunction, even if the scope of the chaos is massive. However, there's another aspect of this footage that isn't as easy to explain away. What's that? As the person behind the camera records, a wooden door suddenly slams shut. Poltergeist or some in here. Oh! I remember this. No. Kinds of. unlike. <laughs> Yo, this dude is terrified. He's like, there's like a poltergeist or something in here. And then when that door slammed, he was like, nope. <laughs> It's no, unlikely no, that a simple no, wooden door no. would be in any way connected to the building's electrical system, suggesting that something else is happening here. Poltergeist or some in here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Typically, ghosts that are able to interact with the physical world are considered poltergeists, a specific type of spirit with incredible strength. It's said that most poltergeists are only able to perform small feats, like moving an object or turning off a light, a spirit with the ability to cause this much turmoil in such a short period would have to be unusually powerful, making this footage one of the most frightening poltergeist encounters ever caught on camera. The super power, it, a super powerful entity right here. It's a bit unusual to see mysterious videos from USA Today, a highly reputable news source. So when this news outlet shared these strange and unexplainable videos, the internet paid attention. In a series of videos recorded in Texas in the United States, a group of amateur sky watchers who regularly watch and record aircraft flying over the area spotted something strange. A group that might be called the Interceptor Club watches everything military that flies over. But back in March, they spotted three craft they'd never seen before. About six miles above the ground flew three triangle-shaped aircraft that resembled nothing they had ever seen before. The triangular craft's front ends resembled stealth bombers. However, the back ends of the craft were straight, not jagged like a typical stealth bomber. 
The back edge was flat, like a Dorito. It wasn't jagged. A week later, another enthusiast spotted the same type of aircraft flying over Kansas, also in a formation of three planes. The witness in Kansas has a significant amount of professional grade equipment for monitoring aircraft. He claims that on that day in question, he heard air traffic controllers communicating with the craft, giving them clearance. Douglas recorded air traffic controllers giving the aircraft a clear lane through the sky. The United States Air Force would not confirm this claim, and no crafts resembling these mysterious planes have ever been seen up close. Could the aircrafts be extraterrestrial in origin? Their communication with air traffic controllers makes this scenario seem unlikely. Exactly. If there was communication with air traffic controllers and they gave them clearance, I'm like, then clearly that's not what you thought it was. Most witnesses. And that dude was using a, a, a Canon T3i. I already know how trash that camera is. I started my YouTube career with it. There's a long story there. That, that, that camera's just not good. Others are apt to believe that there's some type of secret transportation craft developed by the US government and kept under wraps. The true purpose of such aircraft remains a mystery. Like, how are you supposed to expect to know if that thing has jagged a uh, rear end if you can barely make out the image? All you can see is the triangle. You can't see detail. Live streams such as those created by YouTuber Conman167 can cover a number of topics. However, it's less common for live streams to feature mysterious videos of ghosts. In this live stream video, our YouTuber appears to be discussing women's professional wrestling. And they leave a commercial, like, I'd be okay. The screen is mostly covered with information about the fighters and a running commentary by viewers. But the streamer is visible in the upper left corner of the stream as he talks. Yep. Seriously, like, they run their entrances? Suddenly, he breaks off his commentary and looks behind him in confusion. Did anybody else just see that? No. He asks if any of the viewers saw a strange white line floating down by his face. Did you? That was weird. I could have swore I saw, like, this white line run and just, like, fall down back here. If really? you watch the video closely, there does appear to be something floating in the air on the left side oh, of the screen. Oh, I did see that. It only appears for a moment, and then it's gone. Oh, he did see Some it. Some viewers believe that it could be dust capturing the light, or even smoke floating past the camera. Why? However, others who have watched the video in slow motion insist that the motion of the white line doesn't look like anything natural. <laughs> It looks like some sort of string. That's what it really looked like. Y'all, we got 700 people in here. Hit that like button for your boy. We're trying to see if we can get a thousand likes by the one hour mark. We still got two hours to go. Is this a bit of dust or perhaps even a hoax created by the live streamer? Or is this a supernatural sighting? Watch the video closely and judge for yourself, then let us know what you think in the comments section below. Not have a commercial break during the match. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Why did he look in the other direction, though? That was confusing. Why not look over the shoulder that the dust particle floated? Or dust particle, whatever it was. In another strange video recorded by a home security system, Redditor David Corkill provides possible evidence that humans are not the only ones who haunt the living after death. He has a really nice backyard. The camera that recorded this video seems to be mounted on the back of the user's house. We can see a large empty backyard and a small terrace. It appears to be early morning in the dim light of dawn. Everything is still and quiet. The stillness is interrupted when a cat emerges suddenly from the plants along the side of the terrace. The cat appears to be all white and it almost seems to glow in the dim light. Happy anniversary, Joshua. It walks Seven along months. the side of the terrace, then pauses for a few seconds. It stands eerily still, staring back at the house. Thank you, Corey. Then it turns towards the opening in the terrace and trots off towards the yard. 
However, just as it crosses onto the grass, it seems to vanish. Mm. The Redditor who shared this video has no idea how to explain the ghostly feline. Often things seem to appear or disappear in CCTV footage because of a glitch in the video. However, the cat in this clip gradually fades away over the course of a few seconds, it looks like making a... it impossible to explain it away as a glitch. Man, that don't... That's a regular cat! That's a regular cat, man! Meow! Meow! That was a regular kitty cat. He didn't vanish. The, the footage is black and white. So he just was gray, just like the grass. So he went into the grass. Of course you're not going to see him. If I walked in front of this camera butt booty naked and I stood in that grass and laid down, you wouldn't see me either. Sightings of ghostly pets are not uncommon. Now, if there was a black cat, you probably would see him in the grass. Over the years, many witnesses have told stories of spotting their beloved pets after death in photos and videos. It's possible that the cat that appears in this video is the spirit of a much-loved pet that lived in the area at one point, coming back to visit its old home or to check on its former... Look at this cat. When it goes in the grass, you won't see it. ...family. However, cats have been known to cause mischief in life, so it's possible that the ghostly feline is up to no good. If YouTuber 2 cents 14 is to be believed, mysterious videos can be recorded thousands of feet above the ground. Facts. This video raises questions about what strange and unexplained things could be happening far above the clouds. What the freak? The footage appears to be filmed on a smartphone camera recording through the window of a commercial airplane. Yo! According to the YouTuber, their friend's brother captured the footage when he spotted something truly unusual during a flight in 2019. What? The nah. video shows what appears to be two long entities flying in the distance, visible just under the plane's wing. What? That's crazy. They almost resemble kites with long tails flying behind them. We know it ain't no kite that high in the sky. However, no kite could possibly reach the same altitude as a commercial plane. I want a kite. Kites are so Viewers amazing. of this video have suggested several possible explanations. Do they have kites on Amazon? I'm gonna get a kite. Some skeptics believe that the video merely shows two ordinary aircraft flying in formation in the distance, leaving exhaust trails behind them. What up, Kelly? No, 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 no. Long time no see. Others insist that the long trails are too dark to be caused by ordinary exhaust. They I'm, I'm ordering the kite, y'all. Y'all gotta excuse me. I gotta do it while it's on my mind, or I f will forget believe that the strange shapes were caused by alien aircrafts investigating Earth, possibly for nefarious purposes. How do you spell kite? Is this video evidence of an extraterrestrial presence in the skies above Earth? If so, what could be the purpose of such strangely shaped aircraft? Ooh. Whatever the explanation, seeing such bizarre shadows outside of an airplane would be enough to make anyone consider staying on the ground. The story behind this photo is as sad as it is disturbing. The photo has been retold over the years as the tale of the ghost that screamed, and 30 years later, it's still causing a stir. Yo, this photo is so trippy, man. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see this mess. That is crazy looking. The origin of this story dates back to a 1984 car accident involving four teenagers. The exact circumstances leading to the crash are unknown, however, some have blamed the winding roads. Regardless of the cause, the teens lost control of their vehicle that night. They hit a curb and crashed into nearby trees. As fate would have it, three of the four teens survived the crash. It proved fatal for the boy in the front passenger seat. At just 16 years old, the teen boy tragically lost his life. What followed was a routine police inspection complete with photos capturing the scene of the accident. Not having witnessed anything abnormal at the time, the police officer sent the photos off to be developed. For your information, I spelt it correctly. I just have trouble with four and five letter words. If you've been watching long enough, you would know that. I don't understand it. I can spell a 12 letter word, but I can't spell a four or five letter word. I had something wrong with my brain. However, what the police department found in those photos was distressing. 
The first signs of supernatural interference were floating red and yellow dots visible in many of the photos. However, they wouldn't go on to raise any red flags on their own. But one of the photos in question would haunt those who saw it for the rest of their lives. The photo seems to have captured the boy's spirit yelling in agony. That's crazy. That is so crazy. There's a disturbed face, visible and clear. That is so crazy. Some even believe you can see the outline of a brown Labrador. Some say it's the very same dog that belonged to the boy, recently deceased. I don't see that! Skeptics involved had to admit it seemed the photos captured two unique spirits. There's the boy himself in agony after the accident, and the boy's pet there to guide his soul. Do y'all see a Labrador? Do y'all see a dog right here? I don't see it! They said that last time too, and I didn't see it then either. Maybe I'm blind. Nope, I gotta find out. Do y'all see it? Thank you, Libby. You're so sweet. Do y'all see? Yeah, I got. Tell me, tell me if you see it. I'm looking at the comments right now. I need to know, cause I need to see if I'm missing something. Just our eyes playing tricks on us. No, nah, that dude was there. We saw that boy. He was there. Nope, no dog. Nope, I don't see a dog. Just what I thought. I didn't see a dog either. Yes, that's right, Joshua number one, my yeah. Posted to Reddit by user DIY Gardening. Why are we blocking faces out here, but I can see the reflections in the mirror, and that makes zero sense. This picture can only be described as nightmare fuel. The photo was taken at Easter and was simply an attempt to capture a nice gathering of friends. Okay. As the title of the submission explains, the photo features one guest who was certainly not invited. We see the food laid out and a group of friends standing by. But the if this is going where I think it is, I'm going to be upset. There's one glaring addition to this photo that certainly doesn't belong. In the mirror, you can see the creepy and shadowed face of their uninvited guest. It looks to be a person with long hair wearing a white mask. Like many similar ghost photos, this one seems to reveal a being whose presence was not known until the parties involved were able to examine the photograph. Are we sure? Because we can't see on the left side. Let me show you. We can't see from this shot this reflection that person could just as well be there why did they look gray in the face i don't know they're just off at a distance and the camera quality is not that great but they could this person could be standing next to him but we can't see what's over there so i can't say that that's not there but they can which is not fair in this instance the selfie seems to have strayed past fun and silly and gone straight to disturbing instead interesting while looking through the selfies in order to delete the less than perfect ones, the friend came upon something utterly horrifying. Position right behind the girl seems to be a ghostly figure. Enough to send shivers down anyone's spine and make them take a cursory glance behind themselves, there appears to be what looks like a man's face just above the doorframe. It's giving me filter vibes. The longer you stare at this particular photo, the more eerie it feels. Some viewers claim it's nothing more than a Photoshop job, but yeah. the family insists they've not manipulated the image in any way. They insist, but that don't mean that they tell them the truth. But it does, it looks very soft. You know, it looks almost computer animated. interesting but hey if they said that they didn't alter and they and they're honest people then why not believe them so now they're gonna tell me they don't know who this little boy is who's neglecting this child they wrong for that posted by reddit user project mindless this photo seems to suggest that something eerie happened when this picture was taken taken at a family gathering we see six people all smiling happily at the camera however if you look closely it would seem a spirit has attempted to join them with all the happy faces, it seems as though none of them had any idea this dark shadowy figure lingered behind them while capturing the photo. Interesting. That does sound like a very fascinating book. Thank you for the suggestion. You know I love my books. Directly behind the poster himself is a small dark figure, heavily shadowed. 
If you zoom in for a closer inspection, you get a better idea of what this shadow truly is. A little you boy. You can see a small, childlike figure like a whole toddler. directly behind the group. Who gave him a haircut then? Reminded of the child from The Grudge, the poster... Why you have to throw that picture up there, God? ...his family was seriously creeped out upon reviewing the photo. They say they have no idea who the boy could be or why he was there. Now, that would be creepy if they don't know who that child is. Like, who are you? With no other potential explanation for the face behind them, the group seems to believe that a ghost chose their family's gathering to visit that day. Uploaded to Reddit by you. Yeah, why this kid like a grown man? User Ricky on radio, this is yet another ghost photo said to creep you out. It reveals an invisible and horrifying presence in an otherwise peaceful home. Where? The uploader explains that this photo was taken by their aunt. The photo of her son after he got out of the bath should have been a cute and precious memory. However, it quickly turned into something far more sinister. Oh, baby feet. The uploader explains that the two were the only ones at home when the photo was taken. Okay. This makes the appearance of the person in the corner of the room all the more mysterious and eerie. In the photo, a strange figure is visible standing in the background. You can see a hand and white outfit of some kind. How many times is people going to take pictures of little babies and kids and stuff and tell us that, oh wait, this this person's not supposed to be in the picture. It was only me and the baby at home, or me and the kid at home. Why? Who is this? Why do they keep doing this to us? Why do they want us to believe that they were the only ones in the home when they took a picture? That sounds so silly to me. So I can take a picture of me and somebody and be like, yeah, it was only us two here, but really it was three of us here and the other person appeared in the background. But I'm just going to say hey, that person wasn't here because I don't like them very much. Why do they keep doing this to us? It hasn't been believable yet. Okay, yes, it has a couple of times. What's even more unsettling, the uploader posted a second photo showing what the room normally looks like unobscured. I ain't seen a toilet in the picture. When you compare it to the first photo, oh, yeah, I did. There go right there. photo, it looks like it would be impossible for a person to be standing in the corner, not unless they were wedged tightly up against the toilet. Ah, I see what they're saying now. That is fascinating, though. But why does this... If something don't look right about this picture, though. It's some blurriness going on in the top, in the blouse of whatever this figure is. It look like it might be a female. You would almost think that maybe this side of the photo is completely edited. But why would they do that? That would be weird. So if they're telling the truth about this photo, then that would be believable because who would... You can't even stand right there. And then, wait. Yeah, you can't stand right there. The poster also clarified that there is or was no mirror in the room when the photo was taken. Doesn't matter. Some viewers have suggested the spirit to be that of a nurse or another figure wearing a lab coat. Others pointed out that the thumb on the figure seems to be unnaturally pointed. Looks fine to me. So what do you think's going on in this strange photo? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. I just gave my thoughts, I'm not sure. I'm confused. Now that I know, oh Sent crap. Sent in by Slapped Ham viewer Tammy D, it came with a terrified plea to be taken for her word. Tammy notes that her granddaughter captured this photo as she was playing around with a phone's camera. As Tammy explains, no one aside from herself and her granddaughter were present in the room when the photo was taken. Here we go again. Showing a disturbing figure behind her granddaughter, Tammy asserts the figure was not visible when the photo was taken. So you're trying to tell me that this isn't you, Tammy? Show us a picture of you, Tammy. I swear, if you look anything like this, then clearly this is you. But if you don't, then I would be suspicious. This implies that the figure only happened to be accidentally captured by her granddaughter. Huh? 
As Tammy explains, the presence of the spirit in this photograph is easily the scariest thing that's ever happened to her. Those who have previously scrutinised the picture have questioned whether the figure was Tammy herself, but she assures viewers that this is not the case. Yeah, the only way to really assure us is to show us a picture of what you look like that day. In fact, Tammy has her own theory behind the origin of the spirit. Built on top of an old fort, Tammy's quite positive that many people had likely been buried beneath their home. Looking for peace or purely restless, a spirit seems to have wandered into their old home and into the photo captured by Tammy's granddaughter. With some relief, Tammy assures viewers that she has since moved from the allegedly haunted home. Sent to the news outlet, The Irish Mirror by Gronya Dowdall, it would seem an eerie figure has ruined what would be a perfectly fine mirror selfie. As with previous ghost photos, the spirit went completely unnoticed until the selfie was reviewed. Y'all, I've been watching this show on Netflix. I think it was part of the CW originally. It's called Two, Sto no, Two Sentence Horror Stories. I've been enjoying it. Each episode is like 20 minutes long. I started with season three. I was supposed to start with season one, but it doesn't matter. Each episode is different and they don't coincide. But uh, this is fascinating. I see a face in a freaking mirror, but through the window. As the girl strikes a pose in the mirror, another figure is seen striking a pose just outside her window. She might be a stalker. I think did she, if she posted this to snap, did people say, hey, look, there's something behind you. It looks to be a pale, expressionless face hanging just outside of the house. I would trip out. Creepily, the article confirms that the girl's bedroom was upstairs, meaning this couldn't have just been someone passing by. Mm -mm. Instead, the latitude of the room and the spirit's odd appearance all seem to point towards a genuine haunting. Some viewers have suggested it could be an odd reflection or perhaps even a case of pareidolia. A tendency humans have to identify familiar patterns in the things we see, i.e. a face hanging in the window. I don't care. That looks scary. Still, the image is chilling nonetheless, and until further information comes to hand, it will have to remain a mystery. Woo! Y'all, we are up, man. We done doubled our viewership. I told y'all about that like button. This is what this is why content creators like the like button. Because when you hit it, more people watch the video. Let's go! Sent into the news outlet, The Irish Mirror by Ciara O'Callaghan, this last photo is certainly an eerie one. Facebook's facial recognition software seems to point to the legitimacy of this sighting, throwing off even the most hardened sceptics. Mm. As the family were taking a series of nice family photos, O'Callaghan's niece grabbed the phone and it snapped a picture of the roof in her haste. When they looked at the photo, they could see an odd shape in the ceiling that resembled a face. It's also looked like another filter. Because here's another face that looks very, very soft. Could be real. When they uploaded the image to Facebook, it even gave them the option of tagging it as if it was someone they knew. Mm, it knows there's With a face Ciara there. With herself being a self-described skeptic, she admits she had submitted this photo to the public's discretion in order to potentially find some explanation other than the supernatural. For now, she admits she herself couldn't find any other potential cause. You're not that late, Sarah. We still got an hour and 45 minutes to go. Going so far as to manipulate the photo in Photoshop. You see, look, this is why I can't even trust the photo to begin with. Because here you are over here manipulating it in Photoshop, how do we know you didn't do that from the beginning? Playing with darkness and contrast, looking for any other reason the face should have appeared. However, altering the image only seemed to deepen the mystery. Strangely, the face in the ceiling bears a striking resemblance to the selfie we showed earlier in this episode. Doesn't it though? Filter much? They look, they look so much alike. The only thing different is the nose. The nose is slightly different. I don't know. I find it to be very fascinating that these faces is like this is just, they're so similar to each other. 
What filter are they using? I know Snap. I know TikTok got a ghost filter like this or something. Are these shapes related somehow? Perhaps there's a filter that can imprint eerie faces into photos. I'm sure there Let is. Let me know if you've seen an app or filter that has similar looking effects. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there is. Love to hear about it in the comments section below. Yeah, we're almost to 600 likes. Let's get it to a thousand by the middle. By the mid. By the halfway point of this video is what I meant to say. We got 45 minutes. Scary piece of security footage uploaded to Instagram by New Mexico Grown. Yo, fool, who said that? Crystal. Crystal. Said filter much? Seems to show an eerie figure walking down their nature strip. You can't see it turn the corner. Yo, what the? The uploader explains that at 3.09 a.m. they noticed the strange person walking down their street on... Sound like witching hours to me. ...their home security system. By the time they went outside to investigate, the figure had somehow travelled to the next block over in what seemed like an unusually quick time frame. When they went inside to review the footage, they were stunned at what they saw. Let me see it. The white flowing figure seen walking down the road is distinctly non-corporeal. They look white to me. Look great. You can't see it turn the corner. At times, it appears to float directly through other objects, becoming more or less translucent. Oh, it look white now. That thing moving too. In the description of the video, the uploader urges... Man, how that thing go in front, around the tree, through the back of the car, like through the back of the car, onto the grass right there. What the, what is that thing? Viewers to focus on the license plate of the vehicle across the street. I bet. It remains in view even when the figure appears to walk in front of it. That's what I'm saying. Look at this, guys. Interesting. Viewers often chalk these kinds of events up to the poor quality of home security systems. Oh. However, this piece of footage is undeniably creepy and does that, make you question. It's just the person walking on the sidewalk. It's just the person on the sidewalk. And they, they, these cameras do be weird, man. They pick up stuff very strange. Even my camera, which is a new ring doorbell camera, is still like sometimes people will walk past and the people will just be somewhat blurry. And I'm, and I'm talking about folks that's leaving packages for me. And just what's being captured on camera. Yep, exactly. Some of these Posted low-light cameras. Posted to Reddit by user Katie1313, this clip is certainly unnerving. The poster explains that the video in question features a voice text from her friend. Her really? friend had just undertaken a 10-hour car ride solo at the time. Okay. She sent the poster a voice text when she had reached a standstill. Okay. Having just witnessed a car accident, the friend clearly needed to work out what she had just seen. Okay. However, the contents of the voice recording would unveil more than the friend originally intended. Okay. During the call, there are two distinct moments when another person can be heard breathing. As the friend explains the accident and what she saw, you can hear a deep, breathy sound. The trailer was, like, would it be carrying or something? Like a, I don't know, like a... Like a, uh, uh, it happens a second time later in the clip. Again, the friend was alone in the car with her windows up. She was also insisted that the files haven't been edited in any way. So where did this strange sound come from? What in the world? It sounded like something happened to her. She was like, yeah, it's, it's I don't know. It's something like a, duh. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't, what the, I don't even know. I don't know what to make of that one. I'll leave that one to the to the guys or something. I don't know. Aaron Clark with a $20 donation. What's going on with you, brother? Long time no see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tripod. We love you too, man. We in here. Some commenters were quick to connect the accident with the eerie breathing. They concluded that perhaps someone died in the crash and the sound bite somehow captured the breathing of the person as they passed over. I don't know, like a, 
like a uh, In fact, some that hits. is so weird because it's almost as if it instead of continuing to pick up the audio from the woman, it just is like it chose to pick up some breathing instead. Phone users even reported hearing a childlike giggle before the second string of breaths. This is enough to send chills running down anyone's spine. Love to get your thoughts on this eerie clip in the comments section below. Weirdness. Posted by Reddit user Klo Chan, this video appears to show something inexplicable. The video is focused on a normal living room setup. Gotcha. Pointed toward the sofa, a cat is seen lounging cheerily. Oh. However, it's not this cat we're worried about. Keep an eye on the sofa to the left. As the lights turn on and the camera switches out of night vision, you can see what looks like a black cat materializing on the couch. Oh snap. Oh, it's there. You can see it. It's right there. It never moved. See, this is what I'm the trying to tell y'all. comes into the room, looks around and leaves. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all about that night vision mess. You night vision stuff will have some stuff that's there, look like it's not, or look like it's not what it's supposed to be. Like, come on now, we should, any sane or logical person would know exactly what's happening here. This cat is already there. It's just the night vision just, what does night vision do? It allows you to see in the dark or see through the dark, right? So it turns dark into light. It makes things that are dark more visible in a different type of manner. And that's what this cat is. The cat is black. A night vision gonna turn that cat from not from black to not black. She's just looking for something. She forgot what she was looking for. Yo, look at all her pops. I got more pops than her. Because of you guys, you guys gave me a lot of pops. Look at all them pops. I can't wait to display my pops like this when I get my house. Oh, she got like a whole little anime stuff thing going on. Cool. Look. Scarier still, the uploader claims they used to have a black cat named Blackjack who passed away almost exactly a year prior. Oh, so now you're trying to... Dang, how you gonna put death on your cat like that? He clearly is still alive. He was right there. Surely the uploader would have noticed a black cat sitting on their sofa when they looked in the room. Yeah, because the cat ain't dead. The cat's still alive. Maybe they uploaded this video a year after the cat died. I don't know. But there, caught on camera, a black cat does indeed appear to materialize out of nowhere. It was there. It's the night vision that did it. Could this really be Blackjack trying to reconnect with their former owner? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Well, if she's not lying then that would be crazy that Black Jack is trying to come back from the desert. Like many classic ghost videos, this security camera footage is short yet telling. And it looks Seemingly familiar. Seemingly captured in a residence in the middle of the night, this footage shows a ghostly figure walking on the left side of the screen. Oh, what? Guess I gotta move again. The shape in question appears to be mostly translucent. Nearly invisible to the naked eye, the figure can only be slightly differentiated from the dark background. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this. Slightly flowing and translucent, whatever it is, resembles the classic representation of ghosts. Yep, that's a ghost. Yeah, look at it. It's pacing, it's stressed Unfortunately, out. Unfortunately, there's little information to go with this strange piece of footage. Like, that's a stressed out ghost. You see him over there pacing back and forth. He don't know what to do. Like many ghost clips on the internet, it's all too brief and doesn't fully explain where or when it was taken. This is fact. So until further info comes to hand, this mysterious clip will have to remain uncertain. Uh -uh. I'm certain that's a ghost. That's what I'm certain about. Ah, what's that behind Posted me? To the YouTube channel, The Hidden Underbelly 2.0, this next video is certainly chilling. 
The video very clearly shows a ghostly woman dressed in white with long black hair walking through an empty mall at night time. Oh, heck no. Nah. The shopping mall in question is none other than Galleria La Paz, a Mexican shopping mall known for its association with the occult. According to the video's description, the mall is rumoured to be linked to odd occurrences and has a history of human and animal sacrifices. Ooh. The woman in question appears on the... What kind of mall? Not what? What? How do they, they even allow that? Security footage clear as day. Animal and human sacrifice in fact, at the mall? she almost seems to walk right through the security officer doing his rounds. Yo, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. He just continues walking forward right as the ghostly woman seems to vanish. Exactly, that's Apparently crazy. Apparently unfazed, the security officer continues walking, finishing his checks and reports back to the security room. That's It's crazy. alleged that his partner asked if he saw the strange woman while doing his rounds. He said no, he didn't see anyone while walking through the mall. That's Puzzled crazy. and unsure what his partner was talking about, the two replayed the CCTV footage. Startled the I legit thought that that was a woman that was kind of just lingering in the mall after hours, but no. He walked, she walked, he walked right through her. I can't even talk right now. This is crazy. And he didn't see her there? So, I'm confused. Was the security guard that was watching the cameras, was he bugging? Was he tripping on the fact that there's a lady in the mall? He didn't radio his boy and be like, yo, who's that lady right there? He's like, yo, what lady? Is the one you just walked right into. He was like, I didn't walk into no lady. What? Security officer was confronted by the clear video of this ghostly woman in white walking towards him. A woman he had no real life memory of seeing. That's crazy. Ew! She walked Thoroughly right through creepy, like... This footage will surely haunt those security guards for the rest of their days. It's haunting me. Before we take a look at an eerie shadow figure caught on camera, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we upload our scary and mysterious videos. Also, if you're enjoying our content, remember to give that thumbs up button a nice oily massage. That's right, baby. Uploaded by YouTube user Leo Linz, this video features the popular Brazilian comedian, writer and actor and his Brazilian model partner Aline Mineiro. Due to his popularity, it's no surprise this video has already seen over a half a million views and counting. While responding to social media comments, the two are seen sitting alone in a room with the camera focused solely on them. They continue chatting and Yeah, nah, she, she's a model? Psh, not surprised. This woman is gorgeous! Brazilians, man, they're something else. Responding to fans. That's when something eerie appears to happen in the background. That's right, you guys. We got half of y'all that hit that like button for your boy. We got over 1,400 people in here. Hit that like button. We're getting closer and closer to the halfway mark of this video. We're trying to see if we can get 1,000 likes by the middle of this video. We've got another 35 minutes. First occur- I know we can do it. Occurrence, roughly around 1735, seems to show a strange shadow moving in the background. That shadow didn't move, that sucker ran. It moves quickly from left to right. Yo. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed something moving behind the famous pair. That's crazy. While the two are speaking in real time, it's clear the footage hasn't been sped up or altered in any way. In fact, because the two don't notice and therefore don't draw any attention to the shadow, it helps to solidify the idea that the footage hasn't been altered in any way. Yeah. It's not until later in the video, around the 2156 mark, that the shadow is seen again. This time the appearance is less obvious. But if you keep an eye on the TV on the right, you can see it once again. At first, it looks like something simply moving on the TV. But the more you watch it, the more it becomes apparent that it's not connected to the visuals being played on the television. 
quem achou que foi de uma forma feliz e, e ruim, mas enfim, a gente não tá aqui mais pra julgar. Because Linz and Minero don't play up the event or even seem to notice, and the fact that they're talking about something else entirely does lend a bit of credibility to this siding. Hmm. But as always, I'll throw it out to you, the audience. What do you think, real or fake? Love to hear your opinions on this one in the comment section below. I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't know what to make of that. Do y'all think that was Rizil or Kizap? According to Tom O'Flynn, ghost sightings are a regular occurrence at his workplace. This might lead you to think that Tom works in an old building with lots of stories. Actually, he's the owner of Tolleson Service Station, an ordinary store and gas station in Cork. One morning, Tom came into the store and found a package of snacks on the ground. He didn't think much of it until he saw that a fruit bowl had also been overturned and knocked to the ground. Hey, I need you to do... Hey, Steve, you... Big brain, bro. Big brain. I thought about the same thing. I was going to announce it later, but yeah, we're going to do it now. So I need y'all to spam the chat. Let us know where y'all hanging out with us from. This prompted him to check the CCTV cameras. These showed footage of items being pushed over and flung around the store late at night after closing. Got the UK up in here, North Crack a Lack, and I see a Tennessee. The footage found its way to the internet where amateur ghost hunters have been trying to come up with theories about the strange happenings. You see? If I were to if I were to work at a place like this and I were to come in in the morning and see stuff like that. I would have thought that somebody broke in, like, and then obviously you look at the footage and you see stuff falling by itself. I'm like, oh, we got ghosts. Um, sorry, boss. Um, here's my, here's my, um, I'm turning myself in. <laughs> what is it? Letter of, of what, what the heck? I don't remember what it's called. When you're quitting, <laughs> the letter you give up, resurrection, resolution, whatever the heck it is. I don't know. I haven't worked at a nine to five in a couple of years now. By the footage down, you can indeed see that the object falls to the ground by itself. As it's after hours, it's clear that there's no one around to cause such a strange event. So what did move this object? Yo, we got folks in here from all over the country. I swear we got every state up in here. Yes, resignation, resignation, whatever, however you say that word. About a week later, different cameras showed a possible explanation. While the clip is dark and grainy, some viewers believe it shows a shadowy figure. The footage does distort in a strange way. Pul a very strange way. It's like pulsating. And on top of that, so blurry. God, they filmed this with a potato 99. Wrote a possible explanation. While the clip is dark and grainy, some viewers believe it shows a shadowy figure. The footage does distort in a strange way, pulsing in and out. So that's it. But it's hardly conclusive. Seeing the events from this new angle, viewers are convinced that a dark shadowy woman caused the strange events. Tom isn't quite sure about the ghostly woman supposedly showing up in the video. However, he notes that his store is positioned between two funeral homes. Anything's possible, including a recently deceased spirit looking for a midnight snack. This historical photo from Getty appears normal at first glance. However, a viewer with personal ties to one of the figures in the photo noticed something that led to one of the creepiest ghost sightings in Ireland. The photo in question was taken over 100 years ago. It shows several young women who worked in a linen factory. I was about to say, I know this story. And as soon as he said linen factory, I remember. They're posed with their arms crossed, wearing the traditional garments that such factory workers were. Ew! Where is this hand coming from? Y'all see this hand on her shoulder right here? Whose hand is this? It's not her own hand. Not her head, not her head. There's nobody else in this picture. Regularly donned a century ago. The photo was published to an Irish website as part of a gallery of old photos. A woman named Linda commented on the photo, stating that one of the girls was her grandmother, Alan Donnelly. 
Her father has the same photo in his home, and the family's been speculating about it for years. So what has the family so interested in this photo? If you look closely at Linda's grandmother on the far right in the second row down, on the girl's shoulder just in front of her, you might notice something odd. An unexplained hand gripping at her right shoulder. There's no one on her left who the hand could belong to, and all of the other girls have their arms tightly crossed. The fingers on the hand seem to be digging into the woman's shoulder, so she certainly would have noticed if it had have been a human hand. Some believe the hand is a trick of the light or something amiss in the way the woman's dress is lying. However, others are convinced that this is evidence of a century-old ghost. An Irish mum named Jerry Moran decided to enjoy a sunny day by taking her two children for a walk near an old out-of-service train track in Derry. During the walk, she snapped a... In Derry? Oh, heck no. Nah. Ain't that where Pennywise is? Nope, I can't even go to Derry. I don't even do Derry like that anyway. You get, I get the farts when I do Derry. But Austin, new channel member. Thank you, baby. We are here. Lulu. I see you up in here from Toronto. I'm telling y'all, we have people in here from all over this beautiful world. Y'all, we is almost at a thousand likes. Make sure you hit that like button on your way in here. We got 1,500 people up in here, baby. Cute photo of her daughter waving to the camera while her other child heads into a darker wooded area. No one noticed anything amiss and the family had a nice time on their hike. However, when they returned home and Jerry looked at the photo, she was shocked by something eerie. Just beyond her son, you can see what appears at first to be a grey blur. On closer inspection, the blur takes the form of a man walking past the tree. He appears to be wearing the uniform of a soldier and looks straight into the camera at the moment the picture was taken. I remember this According picture. We've seen this picture before. To a local historian, the area where the photo was taken was full of British soldiers during World War I mm -hmm. because of its proximity to the country's border. Mm -hmm. In fact, a famous soldier and poet, Francis Ledwig, frequented the area during the war, writing many poems about its beauty. He has a very interesting look. He was an officer, so perhaps he returned after death to the place he loved during life. Mm. Regardless of who the soldier was, this Irish mum might hesitate before taking her children for more walks along the abandoned railway. Laura Clark of Belfast is no stranger to bizarre ghost sightings. Extra Ever since her father Terry passed away shortly before the birth of her youngest son, strange things have been happening in her mother's house. The family regularly spots strange shadows and inexplicable reflections in the house. In addition, numerous children who live in or visit the house regularly talk about a man in the attic that no one seems to be able to explain. To make matters even more frightening, Laura's sister used to talk about the same man in the attic when she was young, but has never mentioned it to the children. Recently, Laura's mum hosted a Day of the Dead party so the family could gather to remember their lost loved ones, including Terry. They took numerous photos while the family was gathered to commemorate the event. The party went on without a hitch. However, when they reviewed the photos later, they noticed something eerie. In one photo, Laura is holding her young son. I remember this. The photo caught her eye because there's an eerie third arm in the shot and her son seems to have three legs. It's weird how this picture All happened. All the limbs are clearly in focus, much to the chagrin of naysayers who believe that the bizarre effect was captured because Laura and her son moved when the photo was taken. That would make perfect sense though. It would seem like the picture, if they would have took the picture in long exposure, this definitely could have happened. I've went out and done street photography and long exposure and night shots with cars moving and leaving those beautiful long streaks is amazing. If they took this picture in long exposure, she could have snapped it, her arm been right here, his leg been right there, and then when she pulled her hand up to her hair, that's when he moved his leg freely and then that's when the picture took the rest of the, the, the shot. 
and it could have created this, what you see here. Class, Laura states that her son was talking about his grandfather when they took the photo. Could this photo be evidence that Terry was in fact with them on this day, the Day of the Dead? While home alone in her Cork residence, Ashy Murphy was terrified to be at the centre of numerous eerie events. However, not all of the tens of thousands of viewers who have watched this video believe her claims. The video was taken in Ashy's kitchen. Things start to go awry when a lampshade suddenly begins to shake and spin in a bizarre fashion. I was like, yo, something looks familiar about this shot. I couldn't put my finger on it. The lampshade. There's no one anywhere near the lamp when it happens. Yo, look at the movement on that thing, too. This is crazy. Then the doors on the room's cupboards begin opening and closing seemingly on their own. I don't see nobody doing it, so I would guess on their own. Or As she insists they were home alone when the strange events unfolded. She don't matter if you got a home alone or you got five people in there. We're seeing this. We're witnessing this. This is what's happening here. Ain't nobody Some moving Some who have seen the video believe that the entire thing was orchestrated using clear string manipulated by someone just out of sight. That's a possibility, but um, out of sight where? However, others are convinced that it is the work of a playful poltergeist. So what do you think? That's Hoax a possibility. or genuine haunting? It, uh, could, it could be a genuine haunting. I mean, shit. I wouldn't live there if it is. Love to hear your opinions on this strange piece of footage in the comments section below. Shit. Time to go. Time to go. When Bethany Harvey opened her Snapchat app to take a cute photo of herself with her nephew, she was rudely interrupted by her sister, who decided to pop into the photo as well. Without thinking much of, they gonna try to tell me that this little thing right here sitting in between, they don't know who or what that is. But Bethany posted the photo and captioned it, photo bombed. Little did she know that she had also been photo bombed by someone other than her sister. It wasn't until later in the day that Bethany noticed something amiss. A friend came to visit her and pointed out something truly bizarre in the photo. What appears to be a girl or woman in a purple dress. The figure seems to be sitting in a chair behind the girls with her hands folded neatly in her lap. Is it just me or do babies, like, within the past maybe five years, like, babies know to pose for a camera. Look at this little man. He knows he's supposed to smile for this camera phone. Babies just know. My little cousin, man, JC, every time a freaking, his, his mom and his auntie, who are young, they were very, very young, they were teenagers, Every time they were to pull up a freaking camera phone to take a picture of him, he knew what to do. And he was a baby. Heck, even now, him and his three little brothers, they, camera, phone, they ready for a picture. Because of the positioning of the people in the photo, we're unable to see the figure's face. However, the rest of its body is crystal clear. Bethany was shocked when she noticed the woman in the purple dress. According to her, there was no one else in the house besides her, her sister, and her nephew. The figure appears so close to them that there's no way someone could have snuck in without them noticing. The family has no idea who the woman could be, but her appearance certainly has them spooked. When Paranormal Investigators Island visited the supposedly haunted Sharon Rectory House in Donegal, they were hoping for some creepy ghost sightings. They were not disappointed. Mm. The building has seen numerous paranormal events in the past. Visitors and locals claim to see various ghosts walking the halls throughout the day and night. A woman who once lived in the house with her family published a book detailing the terror of living there, with stories of numerous physical attacks by what she thought to be demons. According to a history of the place, it was the site of a gruesome double murder that could be the cause of the terrifying supernatural events. When the paranormal investigators began their evening, they set up a camera at the base of a staircase. They placed a ball at the- 
I just realized something. I'm so old, I've had a typewriter. And I've used it. And I loved it. Ah! The top hoping to capture ghostly activity. The ghosts obliged. In the eerie footage, we can see the ball suddenly being pushed down the stairs. There's a ball. However, when you slow it down, there's clearly no one near it. Yeah, how did it just roll like that? Y'all see that ball? I thought it was... According thought... to the investigators, this staircase was the site of several other strange events that night. One person who attended the investigation collapsed on the stairs. Oh, dang. This place looks haunted. Another claimed she felt someone trying to push her down them. Nah, not me. In this famously haunted location, there's no telling what could happen. If these investigators are correct, there's certainly something sinister. Did they put the railing on the wall? Not connected to the stairs? That's interesting. Happening at the Sharon Rectory house. Maybe it's not. Yo, that ball was so visible. Posted to TikTok by user MaryLiz9, this video will have viewers watching over and over again. This tripped me out, man. I do not know how this video happened. I would call it real because this thing came out of nowhere. And there was a female, too. In the video, the uploader seems to be doing just what teenagers like to do most on TikTok. They're filming themselves doing a dance for the camera. The uploader says in the video's description that this clip was in her drafts and was appealing for viewers to explain the strange man that can be seen behind her. As it's a rehearsal that was never meant to see the light of day, we see the uploader walk through a few dance moves, making her way towards the camera. As she moves to her left, an elderly man can be seen walking towards the camera. Backwards. The girl in. It looked more like a girl with a ponytail because I've already paused this video once before and like zoomed in and saw it was it looked like a girl was walking backwards with a ponytail, but even then, where did she come from? It's the video moments later, blissfully unaware of the man behind her who is now out of sight. If you slow the footage down, you can actually see that the figure is walking backwards toward the camera. Exactly. This would be incredibly hard to pull off if it is indeed a hoax. Right. The erratic movements of the girl would make it difficult to hide someone the entire shot. It's so crazy. How? Since going live, the video has racked up 11 million views with Jeez. thousands of comments speculating on who the old man might be. Jeez. Theories range from a ghost, to a stalker, to a friend who helped stage the video. Mary Liz 9 has since posted a video update in which she insists the video isn't staged and that she doesn't know who the person was. The video wasn't staged. I really don't know who the guy in the back was. Um, I wasn't alone in the parking garage, I was with my sister. It was her sister. And it was staged. She know who it was. I'm telling you, that wasn't a guy. You can see the ponytail. You can see the soft subtleness of a female's back of her neck. It, you could tell it was a female. It was probably her sister. It was just kind of a strange experience. She does, however, think that the man might have managed to walk away when she went to pick up her phone after the dance had ended and just didn't notice a person behind her. So what do you think? Ghost, coincidence, or something else entirely? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. I don't know, maybe it was paranormal. Uploaded to YouTube by user Transistors Fluvis, this video claims to feature real footage of a small ghost boy captured by CCTV. Ooh. The channel is known for posting scary videos of ghosts. It claims each video features real instances of paranormal activity. Yeah. The footage comes from a camera stationed in the upper corner of a convenience store. It's been positioned to keep an eye on both the counter as well as the front door. At around 30 seconds into the clip, you can see a small child appear out of thin air. Did he or did he just... It looks as though they materialize out of nowhere. It does. Rather than simply walking up to the window. It does look like he just... Whoa. 
That's a man crazy. seen behind the counter working and attending to menial tasks. He doesn't respond to the figure clearly present outside the door. Yo, that's crazy. It's like a little the young man. Young child like... raises an arm and it looks to be eerily long. I mean, it don't. It looked normal to me, but why? If it is a spirit, can't he just phase through the door? Although, admittedly, this could be the two windows creating a warped perspective. That's a possibility, but... It... The figure steps to the side and looks through the other part of the window. Still looks it's at normal. this point that the young child seems to shift in and out of focus, almost as if switching in and out of a solid form. Mm, I mean, the worker's he's... ignorance of the boy's presence is another telling factor. It didn't look like he went in and out of focus. It looked like he got closer and further away from the glass, which would make it appear to that that he would be going in and out of focus. Which raises a few questions. Was the boy truly a ghost? So incorporeal as to be easily ignored if one were not looking right at him. Y'all, we got over 1,600 people in the live stream. And we're so close to 1,000 likes. And we're approaching the halfway mark. We're about 18 minutes away. Let's get it. Hit that like button, smash it, destroy it, act like it's your bet. I ain't gonna say it. Or was he perhaps the type of spirit that can be captured on camera but not seen in real life? Maybe. Or further still, perhaps the child is just some riffraff that the store clerk is choosing to ignore. That too, or... Either way, the man paid... Or the kid could be wanting to come in the store but the store is locked or he's just waiting for his parent to come out the car before he walks in there's there's many things that could be explained to what's going on here is the boy no mind the boy remains staring longingly inside all the while appearing to wish to come in as he waits alone leaving viewers to wonder at the strange boy's fate yeah Sure to stump, frighten, and even amuse. Is I remember this. This right here is one of the most convincing paranormal clips I personally have ever seen. Is this next video posted to Reddit by user KittyK38. The uploader explains that after she and her husband were concerned by a cupboard that seemed to open by itself the previous night, they set up a camera to record the kitchen the following night. That very evening, the uploader's husband is seen grabbing some cereal as a midnight snack. Watch. After pouring the cereal, the man puts the box down on the counter and retrieves milk from the refrigerator. Are those Honey Nut Cheerios? Good man. As he does so, the cereal box is seen sliding down the counter by itself. Oh, they're not. They're not Honey Nut Cheerios. Although Bad. the man doesn't see the box slide, he does notice that it's moved when he turns around. Yeah, because he didn't leave it in front of the bowl. Only a bit confused, the man moves the box back to where it had been. As he pours some milk into his bowl, the box moves once again. The man looks slightly more concerned, but finishes pouring the milk. He moves to replace it in the refrigerator once again. As his back is turned, the box begins to slide down the counter once more. That's a thing. Clearly spooked, the man does something very few people are seen to actually do in genuinely scary videos of ghosts. Thick box. He jumps and moves away from the box comically fast. <laughs> exactly, man. That's why I don't understand. You heard what Slapham said, right? He was like, yo, this man did something that most people don't do in, in freaking paranormal videos. Is they jump and they run away. That seems like the first response. That's what my body would do. My body would be like, ah, and gone. Or it would pass out right there in that spot. One of the two. He runs out of the kitchen. The man's reaction is most likely the real deal as he runs away from the serial poltergeist haunting his kitchen. A spirit trapped in a mirror located in a haunted Irish castle seems to be the plot of a horror movie. Oh yeah, you guys, um, real quick while it's fresh on my mind, next week there won't be a Monday nor a Friday night live stream. I'll be out of town, okay? But I got you guys when I get back. Yet lead paranormal investigator Siobhan McCauley seems to have captured proof. 
the ghost is known as the man in the mirror. There were two separate stories in the news outlet, The Irish Mirror. The original piece was by Mark Corcoran, followed by a second piece by William Dunn a month later. They both feature the video and photos captured by the six-person paranormal investigations team during a public lockdown of one of Ireland's most haunted castles, Leap Castle in County Offaly. In the footage, you can see the lead investigator pointing out to her fellow partner that the man visible in the mirror seems to be wearing a straw hat. There you go. Is he wearing a hat? Yes. No. Yes, he's wearing a hat. Fuck off. Yes, yeah. he's wearing a straw hat. Look. There he is. The two seem to be able to make out separate and distinct features in the mirror. Yeah, there you can see his nose yeah. and the hat it's around the rim of the hat and everything. Yes. Like many scary videos of ghosts, this video has come into its own fair bit of contention. Another group of paranormal investigators seem to deny any claim of a ghost's presence in the mirror. They claim the mirror simply needs to be cleaned. While at some points in the Thank you guys. video you can actually see something that resembles a man wearing a hat, it's a little odd that the man only moves when the investigator moves her torch. Rodney, guess what? It was supposed to happen last weekend. But two of my friends backed out. Next month, we're gonna try it again. Hey. She even admits in the video that the entity moves opposite to her actions. I'm going to step forward. Are you gonna do the opposite again? I knew he would. With two directly opposing investigative results, viewers are left to decide for themselves just what they've seen in the mirror. It look, looks like whatever they're talking about in the mirror is facing that way. It's like facing in that direction, you know? I think I'm pointing in the right way. Yeah, it's facing in that direction because they're talking about the nose. They're talking about the ring around the hat, whatever they see. Upload. Was that deliberately a trick mirror that everybody knows is a trick mirror? Or that's just something they see in the mirror. Voted by YouTube user CH3Thailand, this next clip captures something frightening on dash cam. The footage was captured in the middle of the night. Sheesh. As the car drives down an empty highway, a figure seems to materialize. Yo, this dash cam so trash, I wouldn't trust it to capture an accident that I was involved in. Goodness gracious. Out of nowhere. Continuing on, the car seems to pass right through the mysterious figure. Heck yeah, that fool was definitely getting hit. This video gained a fair bit of media attention in Thailand where it was captured. After being shared on social media, the video was picked up by a Thai English language news outlet. Strange videos like these reach peak levels of speculation when they broach the mainstream. And this one is no different. The clip has drawn a fair amount of skepticism, with some viewers asserting that the figure was simply the result of a reflection on the window. This ain't no reflection on the window. How is it going to be a reflection on the window when the headlights from the car is clearly shining onto it? Duh! However, discerning viewers find it unlikely that a window reflection could so accurately show a person standing up straight and unmoving in the middle of the road in such a way. Man, if it was just a per that person got side swiped. That person's body grazed up against that car. I know it did. It was too close not to. Person wandering aimlessly on the highway, perhaps drunk. How is it that they managed to pass right through the driving vehicle and disappear without a trace? Thank you, Christopher Hernandez, for the don't know, big baby. It's no coincidence that St. Augustine, the oldest city in the U.S. Hey, thank you guys for a thousand likes, baby. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Can we get another 500 by the end of this video? That would be amazing. It's also frequently referred to as the most haunted city in the US. Posted to the YouTube channel Paranormal Planet, this video takes us on a tour of some of St. Augustine's oldest sites, 
all of which are reported to be haunted. The old Spanish fortress still haunted by slaughtered soldiers. The oldest house in America stands in an area known for a vicious slaughter by the Spanish Armada. This right here, the oldest house. In an old room just adjacent to the oldest house in America, the uploader claims the Spanish Armada slaughtered up to 50 people. When the Spanish Armadas invaded the city, they slaughtered 50 people in this room. It's here that they set up a time-lapse shot to see if they can capture anything unusual on film. 50 people, Shortly one Shortly into the time-lapse shot, a shadowy figure is seen walking between rooms. Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. If, if 50 people lost their lives through a slaughter in this one room, best believe there's some spirits. There's definitely some spirits. They got one of them right there. We see them. <sighs> it glides eerily from door to door. Not me. I wouldn't be there. Look at that. Look at that. No, he there. He's Given there. the area's history, it's clear why ghosts would remain tied to this place. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Being one of the oldest continually lived in cities in the United States and being the site of many historical battles, there is more to these buildings than meets the eye in the light of day. Oh, I bet. Almost like a movie, it would appear these shadows tend to walk across the buildings of their old stomping grounds. Man. Seemingly restless and haunting such areas of strife for all eternity. Had I seen something like this, man, I would have boo-booed in myself and then on myself. E I would wear diapers just to go here. This crazy dash cam footage captured by Karina Dimitriva and submitted to the Daily Mail seems to confirm decades worth of hauntings. How? Decades? What? No. Filmed in Western Russia, the footage captured by Dimitriva seems to show a woman in a white gown. You think Russia's haunted now? Wait, wait till you see. Standing in the snow. Oh, As it's someone right there. passes the camera, the woman in the background vanishes from view. She in the middle. Local folklore says that in 1989, a newlywed couple were heading to a local park to celebrate with friends. Their car allegedly smashed head on with a truck, killing the bride instantly. Oh no! Oh heck no! Man, I hate those, man. Those be some crazy stories, man. We've seen some Mr. Ballin stories of like a, a husband and wife, newlyweds, just married, going on their honeymoon and something tragic happens to one of them. It's, oh, it's, oh, so sad. The spot where that horrific accident happened decades ago is said to be just meters from where this striking footage was captured. Queen 17, welcome to the live stream. That rhymed. Yo, um, hit that like button on your way in. Thank you, Shauna, new channel member. I know you hit that like button when you joined, right, baby? Thank you, I appreciate you. Hey, we ain't even got to the halfway mark yet. We still got another 10 minutes. Can you believe it? But y'all, if this is your first time in here, live streaming with us, comment, let us know in the chat. First time live, FTL. First time live, baby. And look, it disappeared. Since that day, over 30 years ago, locals have attested to multiple accidents in the region. Located between the towns of Luyabertsi and Litkarino in Western Russia's Moscow Oblast region. All of these occurred on the same stretch of road where the bride was killed all those years ago. We in here, Tiffany. Known as a black spot, it's said that the same area has seen 10 fatal accidents in recent years. The spot is also... 10? have been known for producing sudden blinding fog and other bizarre phenomena. This has caused even more drivers to lose control of their vehicles. It's a possibility that whatever this section of the road is, it got some paranormal spirits and entities that's causing people to get into accidents. The spot has been so riddled with accidents and ghost sightings that one Russian paranormal investigator, Ilya Sagliani, confessed to studying the location for over eight years. You see? Gianni even claims to have seen the bride ghost himself. I told, look, that this bride got very upset that she lost her life on her wedding day. So she's over here doing the same to other people. Shame on you. You little, look, that, 
it, it was probably meant to be that you lost your life, little bride lady. Because if you if your spirit is over here doing this nasty, malicious stuff, then you wasn't a very good person. Maybe you should have stayed alive so that you couldn't do this evil stuff. Because, hey, you over here causing other people to lose their lives. That's that's pretty messed up. The footage captured by Dimitriva appears to corroborate the story of Sagliani and so many others. Dimitriva claims to have seen the woman's shape before pulling over to investigate. She got out of her car in order to look at the woman. The video clearly shows a ghostly woman who seems to disappear right after Dimitriva walks past the camera further solidifying the ghost's reputation. FTL, babe. First time lock. Captured by a man from Maine named Chet Cook and sent to the sun, this video has effectively stumped paranormal investigators. Cook appears to be driving along a perfectly average stretch of road. However, the footage quickly shows a mysterious black shape scurrying across the street just that was, in front of Cook's car. That was big. What was that? Not appearing to be corporeal in any way, the substance in Cook's video appears more like a shadow than a person. More like a shadow than an animal? Cook said he felt a nagging feeling to review the dashcam footage when he got home. While Cook explains he reviewed the footage expecting to see a deer run across the road, he instead saw the strange black shape. Man, what if this is like a panther or something? Or a jaguar? A big black jag. Working in IT, Cook had a fairly good idea that it wasn't a camera malfunction that had led to this figure. No. He was fairly positive he hadn't actually seen anything in front of his car that night. Yo, this looks... It doesn't look enhanced. That ran across his screen, whatever that was. It was real. This don't look like enhanced footage. So spooked, Cook sent the footage off to a paranormal team in order to conduct their own investigation. Uh huh. Instead, the crazy dash cam footage stumped the investigative team. They yeah, noted yeah. an animal wouldn't have appeared so transparent. That's what I'm thinking too, though. I feel like this wouldn't have been that transparent if it was any sort of animal, but it, was it a, a spirit animal? <laughs> I meant to say the spirit of an animal. As for Cook, he explained to the Sun News outlet that those who live in Maine are generally used to creepy sightings, and that there's a reason a lot of Stephen King's stories are based there. Really? I so didn't what realize do you think that. This strange black mass is deer or something more sinister. Love to oh, get your dear. opinion on this one in the comments section. I think it's too short and too black to be a deer. That was something else. That was a maybe it was a wolf. Below. Hey, it was fast. Uploaded to the YouTube channel Hidden Underbelly 2.0, this piece of dash cam footage is bizarre to say the least. Goodness gracious, what was this film with? The footage shows a red a potato taxi making its way along a winding road. However, things change suddenly and dangerously when a white blur appears out of nowhere. Oh, snap! The strange light, which some have called a ghost, seems to slam right into the vehicle ahead. The Yo. vehicle immediately swerves off the road, crashing into a tree. The driver of the vehicle with the dash cam swears, clearly just as surprised as the rest of us by the what strange the incident. Freak? Yo, that's crazy. It looked like it looked like a ghost from Ghostbusters. It appears the ghostly figure quite literally knocked into the vehicle in question, causing the accident. That's crazy. Some viewers have called the event a coincidence. Some say it's just the headlights of the car hitting a patch of mist, then the taxi swerved for a completely separate reason. Others, however, find this explanation hard to buy, saying that the strange spectral light flies out of nowhere and is in fact the cause of the accident. Covered by news outlet The Irish Mirror, this next piece of crazy dash cam footage shows yet another chilling brush with death. What could have been a fatal accident is barely avoided, but it's been captured on camera for the world to see. Yo. In the footage, a couple drives down a dark road. They come face to face with a mysterious figure standing in the middle of the street. Donde. What looks to be a female dressed in a white top and blue skirt 
the couple is faced with the dangerous possibility of a collision. Shoo! Panicked, the couple yells to one another. They swerve out of the way. A dangerous manoeuvre which could have caused an entirely separate accident. Yo, the fact that they even saw her though. Ah, oh, man, I'm not gonna lie. I might have hit her butt. Because he saw her at the very last second. And it's not like the, the lights from the headlights are illuminating upwards to be able to show high. It's literally just down to the ground. Confronted with the image of a ghostly woman standing in the middle of the road at night, arms outstretched, the couple may have slowly reached a supernatural con- You see that? The cameras never illuminated her. It's only her feet. Conclusion in themselves. That's crazy. I would have hit that. She would have got knocked out. She would have, she like, she was standing there because she wanted to get hit. Is this a genuine ghost sighting or just a confused pedestrian who narrowly missed being hit? That's crazy. The fact that he saw her, maybe it was way more visible in real life than it was viewing it from that footage. It had to be because I, he saw her. Uploaded by YouTube user Molly the Lag, this footage is the sort of eerie occurrence dash cams are perfect for capturing. As two men are driving down the street, one now this is pretty smooth footage. I like this so far. One of them suddenly exclaims just how creeped out they are at something they've just seen. Was that what? What? The viewer is able to make out a bright light far in front of the vehicle. Suddenly, the light seems to completely disappear as the vehicle gets a bit closer. Yeah, that is crazy. That light the did turn off. The passenger explains that he had seen a man on what was either a bicycle or a motorbike flashing a blinding light in their direction. Wow, I literally just saw somebody on a bicycle or a motorcycle with a headlight on, and then as we came close, it just disappeared. Yo. However, as the light seems to disappear, so too does the figure entirely. Exactly. Gone. Describing gone. the figure's appearance as almost that of a hologram, the passenger is very obviously spooked by what he's just witnessed. The driver has no idea what they were seeing. Instead, the passenger recounts just what he had witnessed, thankful that they had the dash cam footage to go back and review after the fact. Some viewers have said the footage is simply a trick of perspective. They claim the light is just a street lamp up ahead that appears to disappear as the road curves in the distance. I don't know about that. However, later in the footage, the uploader shows a map of where the incident took place. It seems to show that the road isn't as windy as it appears in the footage. It also shows there's no roads that a vehicle could have turned off on. Ah, there's your proof right there. I don't even see a street light right there. Upon review, the street lights also seem to flicker just after the light vanishes. So what do you think these two men witnessed? A strange trick of perspective or something else entirely? Nah, that wasn't no... your thoughts on this one in the comment section below. That wasn't no trick of perspective. Posted to the YouTube channel Dashcam Owners Indonesia, this piece of crazy dashcam footage perfectly illustrates the sort of classic ghostly appearances one might miss without a dashcam. In this blink and you'll miss a ghostly appearance, an unsettling figure appears to be standing directly in, in the, the middle, middle of the road. road. While not visible for a good stretch of the road, the figure Sk appears suddenly. You. Crazy. Eerily and appears to face away from traffic and doesn't move at all. Yeah. While the traffic up ahead has to quickly swerve in order to avoid the man, he does nothing. Full stand in the middle of the street. That's crazy. The fact that the vehicles up ahead have to swerve means the man was physically there. It also makes yes. it less likely that the footage has been digitally manipulated in some way. That man, yeah, he's definitely physically there. When a story like this seems far-fetched to anyone who wasn't there, dash cam evidence becomes extremely vital for proving one's case. That's and why. potentially proving to oneself they hadn't simply imagined the figure after the fact.
That's why I got a ring doorbell and I got a dash cam. Big baby. You about to catch me slipping. While the man was clearly physically present and appeared unmoving, his exact motives remain unknown. Mr. Rogers, you got that right, baby. Head over to the website, artofkicks.com. Got plenty of merch available for you. If he was a spirit, one would have to wonder just what sort of evil motivation would lie behind such a reckless haunting. And if it was a living person, why would they just wade into oncoming traffic like that? Man, this fool might have a death wish, that's why. Y'all, we finally hit the halfway mark, man. We doing pretty good. Let's get them likes up. Let's see if we get another 500 by the end of this video. With just 225 more likes to go. Most people who get arrested fear being alone in a jail cell. According to this footage from Paranormal Activity World, there might be something very different to fear. In this video, we see a man behind bars in a maximum security cell. He's standing alone in solitary confinement, looking through the bars. When the man in the cell takes a small step to the side, things get really bizarre. What you mean? Yo, what was that when behind him? When the prisoner him? steps to the side, he no longer seems to be alone in his cell. With his body out of the way, we see a bizarre shadow figure lurking just behind him. Facts. Yo, the shape what? is terrifying. It almost appears to be part human, part arachnid. It has a human head, but seems to move on a set of spindly legs, staying down near the floor. The shadow quickly disappears, stepping back behind the man after he moves. Clearly, this entity has some attachment to this unfortunate prisoner, using him to hide from other prying eyes. The freak is that? Imagine being trapped behind bars all alone when you realise there may be a shadow person sharing the cell with you. YouTuber Hable Mos de Mysterio uploaded this strange encounter at a funeral home. It was allegedly captured by a security guard doing his rounds late at night. Okay. In this footage, we see what appears to be the lobby of a large funeral home. The video is taken from a distance, but appears to focus on the entrance, where visitors come into the funeral home. At the far end, there's rows of metal poles used to direct large crowds. Right. As the guard's camera rolls, we can see a metallic glint coming from the other side of the lobby. I see it. On closer inspection, we see the silver metal bar of one of the poles moving on its own. It's moving. It rocks back and forth. It's quite clear there's nothing around that could be moving the pole. It's even making noise. This footage was taken in a funeral home, so some sort of ghostly entity is an obvious culprit. Perhaps the spirit of someone whose funeral was held in this building lingered long after the services ended. The powerful movement of the pole indicates that the spirit's a poltergeist and a strong one at that. This could suggest the spirit has left this world in significant turmoil or suffering, causing it to linger long after death. YouTube channel The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations is no stranger to scary videos. They frequently share footage of eerie things that investigators spot in their visits to abandoned and haunted places. This video, however, is enough to leave even the most seasoned paranormal aficionados feeling rattled. This investigation takes place at the Cleanwater Demon House in Reno, Nevada, USA. According to the stories surrounding this property, more than a dozen people have met tragic ends in the house. I didn't there realize have been that. Reports of paranormal activity taking place there. Oh, the investigators shit. visit the property in hopes of finding evidence of demonic activity. So let's grab the SLS camera, let's grab the audio, and so let's head in there and just kind of do a walk around and see what's going on. The investigators use numerous pieces of equipment, including a night vision camera and spirit box. Spirit boxes operate by scanning through radio waves in supposedly haunted places, allowing any entities in the area to make their voices heard using the waves. As the investigators explore the house, the spirit box quickly begins talking. Ambition. Oh, oh Jesus. Applet. Children. Applet and children? Shove. 
It says a lot of random words, but one quickly stands out. Nail. As the box speaks this word, the investigator looks down and realises he was inches away from piercing his foot with several large nails. Nail. Right. Oh my god. Look what I almost stepped on. Chief. And it said nail watch. Oh. And there's all these nails right here. And I stopped because I didn't want to step on it. And it said disregard. nail. Disregard. Threshold. Threshold. What the That's crazy. As they keep... Get out. What that thing is really telling you, he's not even listening to right. He's not even listening to right. He's listening to all the wrong words. It's telling you to get out. I heard it loud as day. I mean, loud and clear. It said, get out. Exploring and the spirit box continues chattering, the investigators locate bones on the floor. Just as they spot the bones, the box states, break. See these bones? Break, please. Oh, I. Break, please. You said, look at these bones. And then it goes, break, please. Moments later, one of the men claims to have seen a figure pass the door. It's got like a weird, very weird layout. What the f was that? What? Something just went by the door. Action. Swim. Something just went by this. They then discover strange symbols written on the walls. They ask the spirit what the symbols mean, and it says anti-prey. What does that mean? Oh, I'm getting... Bad. Anti-prey. Anti-prey? The camera begins detecting movement in various places around the room. Leather. It's like doing that. Look. Oh, there. Oh, that was somebody. Yeah. It was right there, too. Like, just on the edge of the stair. There they are. So you're telling me dozens of people passed on or came to their demise in this house? Right. This place is haunted. The investigators decide to explore the second floor. They hear strange, disturbing sounds that resemble footsteps as they continue their exploration. Stop. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No. Yeah. I didn't either. What was that? What? I saw another shadow dart that way. Mm -hmm. I heard a footstep kind of at the top of the stairs right there. This man is seeing and hearing things that none of us are. Who's in here with us? A curious shadow figure appears to be following them around the building. At one point, as the crew are walking... That thing might follow you out that building and into your life. Nope, not me. ...back into the house, an ominous black shape can be seen standing in the window. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. However, upon reviewing the footage, seconds later, the shape is gone. I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. A second camera that was simultaneously filming the inside of the house shows that there was no one inside the building when the shadow figure was seen in the window. I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a tall, dark shadow in the window. That I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. The appearance of the shadow figure is followed by disturbing growling noises, footsteps and knocks on the walls and ceiling, terrifying the investigators. What was that? It sounded like grumbling. Like, yeah. Ooh. What the f***? Noise upstairs. The motion sensing camera picks up a clear humanoid figure standing nearby. I'm out. What the? Oh, there it is. There he is. On the door? Yep. It appears to be attempting to close a door, but is unable to do so. It's trying to. It looks like he's trying to close that door. It does. Or like move that door. Let's see if it maps anything. Near the end of the investigation, the entity appears to become more powerful. It takes a lot of energy for ghosts to move objects, but it eventually moves a plank of wood during an EVP session in a completely empty room. Whoa! Dude! 
It also knocks over a bike that is leaning against a wall in the empty room. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. It seems the attentions of the investigators have made the spirit stronger move objects, yeah, but that it eventually bike. moves a plank of wood during an EVP leaning against a wall in the empty room. Watch the bike. Do you see that? It seems the attentions of the investigators have made the spirit stronger or perhaps just bolder. Yeah. Watch that? the bike. Yeah. A pub should be a place to relax and unwind after a long day. Unfortunately for the patrons of Barney Max Bar in Drogheda County, Luth Island, their time at this bar isn't always peaceful. The bar was a regular haunt of a man named Joe Murphy for years. Not long ago, the regular unfortunately passed away. However, the staff at the bar believe he still occasionally comes to visit. In this footage recorded by the bar's CCTV system, we see a pint of beer on a table in front of a guest. One of the patrons stands up and while he's not looking, the pint glass explodes, sending beer and shards of glass all over the table. That thing just popped. After the explosion, the patrons simply stare at the broken glass, flabbergasted. No According to the staff, it. this isn't an unusual occurrence. Ever since the passing of Joe Murphy, exploding pints have been an occasional problem. Those who work there have gotten used to the strange emergences of their late customer, but it still terrifies customers who aren't used to Joe's shenanigans. So, does that ever happen in someone's hand? Where the pint would just pop like that? That could be dangerous. A lot of people are working and attending school online these days, but meetings and classes don't usually yield scary videos. At least, that's what Twitter user Freddy Gizza thought. Yo, I remember this clip. It's pretty creepy. The teacher claimed to be alone in his recently purchased home in Nuevo Leon, Mexico, while teaching the class. Yet the students attending seemed to think that something else was present that day. The teacher is presenting against a blank wall with a doorway just behind his left shoulder. And this is Mexico, too, where they're very superstitious. It's this doorway that becomes the center of attention when a pale face seems to peek into the room. The entity appears to be a pale young woman with dark hair. Super pale. Super pale. The teacher glances over his shoulder several times but is unable to see the creepy entity. At one point he closes the door to end the distraction that the strange entity is causing. Towards the end of the video, he moves the camera around the house to show that he's alone except for his dog. No, you're not alone, buddy. Some of the students who watched the video think it was staged, but others are certain that it was a real ghost attending class that day. If it is staged, he's doing a very good job of selling it because I believe it. What do you think that strange face is? An accomplice, a real ghost, or something else entirely? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comment section below. It could be his girlfriend or wife with white face on. <laughs> Abandoned hospitals and other places where the sick and dying meet their ends are popular locations for scary videos. Hey. Am I the only one that just realized that? If you wear white face, it's like you're perpetrating a ghost or a spirit. But if you wear black face, that's racist. <laughs> ah! In this exploration by YouTubers Finders Beepers History Seekers, they visit Finders Beepers History Seekers. That's clever. To form a care home. According to the stories about the place, it would seem the elderly residents who lived at the facility had a difficult time during their residence there. The facility was reportedly shut down because of widespread accusations of abuse, neglect, and deplorable living conditions. Yeah, keep hitting that like button. We almost got 1,800 people. The like button will get us there. 
Given the history of the building, it's unsurprising that numerous ghost hunters have found their way to this building. I'm about to go hit it myself. So this place was eventually shut down for a catalogue of abuse. It was really terrible. Some of the people were classed as being put in cells. The bedrooms were that bad. They were locked away, ignored. The investigators take their time moving through the building, examining the rundown state of the place, a perfect setting for a ghost hunt. My chainsaw massacring time. Yeah. I remember this video. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yo, that place looks creepy. Imagine people being locked up down here. At one point, they find a logbook containing complaints issued by visitors who were horrified by the conditions their relatives were living in. Heck yeah! Oh, he didn't look suitable to enter the building. On account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> That's How crazy. A psychopath coming in. As they head to the second floor of the building, the investigators are surprised by an unexpected visitor, a shadow figure walking across the top of the stairs. Um, no way. Yeah, see, goes up again. Hey, Yo, who is that? Hello. What's so crazy? Something was up there and it walked to the right. But if I remember this clip correctly, you can't go to the right. You can't go that way. There's you you can't go that way. There's either a window or a wall there. It only appears for a second before disappearing into the shadows. See, it goes up again. Hey, wait up. But then, when the men reach the floor where the shadow vanished, they discover that there's nothing but a wall. This you indicates see? that nothing corporeal could have caused the mysterious shadow. There's a wall and a window, no, like I thought. That way. And there's no way you can go. You can't if you go slow that the way. down, you can indeed see a solid shape moving at the top of the stairs. Yo. That's crazy. Could a former resident be lingering in the place where they met their end? Or is it just a homeless person evading detection? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below. See, it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello? Heck no. TikToker Noah.VQ captured this eerie video. As a security guard on an empty floor of a hospital, he wasn't expecting to see anything weird while on the job late at night. However, this eerie piece of footage seems to show a creepy shadow figure hanging out in one of the empty rooms. This security guard was working the night shift when he thought he heard some strange noises. The hospital where he works is fairly empty and the floor that he was assigned to was totally deserted. If he was completely alone on the floor, it makes sense that he'd be a little uneasy hearing unexplained sounds. He quickly takes out his camera to hopefully capture evidence of his mysterious visitor. He walks down the hallway, slowly peering into each room that he passes. Yeah, he didn't see that. I don't get it. Unfortunately, one of the rooms doesn't look as empty as the others. I don't see how he didn't see that, y'all. As he passes the room in question, the camera captures a shadow that appears to be looking out a window. Very clear. At first, the security guard continues down the hall. When his brain has had time to process what he saw, he slowly returns to the room for another peek. By the time he returns, the shadow is gone. God. Some people who have seen the video believe it was most likely a hoax with an all-too-human accomplice. However, several security guards have spoken up, insisting that guards rarely get company on their shifts. Others are certain that the footage captured a real shadow creature, a specific type of spirit that lurks in the shadows. I would have to be out. I couldn't know. Nope. Tricking witnesses into questioning their own perceptions of reality. Some hypothesize that this is the spirit of someone who died in this very room. Regardless of who the spirit is, its appearance in the video is downright terrifying. I'm out. I'm out. YouTuber Aloha Treasures wasn't expecting to capture any ghost videos when she set up security cameras around her home. Unfortunately, a bizarre shadow has her questioning how safe her home really is sending her to the internet for answers. The YouTuber has multiple CCTV cameras set up inside and outside her home. 
When watching the footage of her living room one day, she noticed something odd, a human-shaped shadow peeking in through the doorway. The shadow pops in a few times, standing out in stark contrast to the white door, before fading away. Oh yeah, I remember this clip too. No trace of a person casting the shadow ever appears. Nowhere. On the first two appearances, the shadow is indistinct. It appears to be human in shape, but it's hard to make out a defined silhouette. On its final appearance, the shadow becomes more defined and seems to raise its arm to point at something toward the ceiling. After that, it fades away for good. Yo, it did. In the video, the homeowner doesn't seem sure whether she's looking at a ghost or the shadow of a real person. However, none of the other cameras provide any evidence of an intruder entering or exiting the home. Zero if a person evidence. had broken into the house, it would have been difficult to evade all of the camera feeds. Facts. This has led the homeowner to believe that she is in fact dealing with a spiritual entity. Possibly. You better go. As soon as he said you better go, it dip. A convenience store in Tlaquapaki, Jalisco, Mexico has become internet famous for startling ghost videos. A place to buy snacks and drinks during the day, this store seems to be a haven for ghostly entities after dark. Interesting. In one clip uploaded to YouTube by Videos Famosos del Facebook, we see a number of strange movements caught on an employee's cell phone camera. As the camera pans across the store, the employee is startled when the door to one of the drink coolers suddenly opens on its own. I remember this. I remember this. It's filmed on a potato The employee steps night. outside for a quick break but continues recording through the door. A few seconds later, the cooler door opens and closes again. <laughs> the store is completely empty, so there's no doubt that the door is moving on its own. As the employees discuss the strange event, they notice that the lights in the store begin flickering off and on in an almost rhythmic pattern. Yo, what the freak? With no one in the store to control the lights, how could this be happening? In another video by Low Paranormal MTY, an employee begins recording when the lights to the cigarette case begin flickering off and on. A few seconds later, the overhead lights join in and begin. This whole convenience store is paranormal. Turning themselves haunted off and on. <laughs> No mames As it films correct. the lights, the cameras capture a cooler door opening and closing on its own. And yes, you guys, for those that are wondering, I still have some no mames shirts available on the website, artofkicks.com. Near the end of the video, he also captures a bottle inexplicably rolling across the floor. I'm surprised with these guys being Hispanic, Mexican specifically, that they're not tripping out over this more than they are because Spanish, they don't play when it comes to the paranormal. They don't, ooh, they be skirt. Some viewers suggest that the videos are a prank perpetrated by hidden accomplices in the back rooms or crouched below the shelves. Maybe. However, many are convinced that these videos depict real poltergeist activity. So what do you think? Is this convenience store really haunted? Love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. According to Instagrammer Terra Prime, there could be some very scary things lurking in the dark. This footage taken from a CCTV camera shows a dim room that looks like a large kitchen or cafeteria. At first, everything in the room seems normal. However, that quickly changes when an abrupt flash of light appears near a closed door. I 
I flash remember of light this. briefly illuminate. See, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to night vision footage because it'll make some things appear to be different than they actually are. What appears to And a lot of times when it comes to animate objects like humans and animals, it doesn't pick them up quite the way it should until it's lit, well lit, like how this refrigerator opening. It's, this looks like me getting a late night snack. Be a human figure. The figure is only visible for a moment before the room is once again plunged into darkness. If you watch closely over the next few seconds, the figure seems to stand and move around behind the counter on the far side of the room. Exactly. It didn't appear out of nowhere. In the darkness, it appears as a white mist moving and writhing above the countertop. Oh, crap. This explains so much. This just explained 25% of the videos that we watch. When it comes to these night vision cameras, you see, this is just a dude in here getting a late night slack in the refrigerator. But you see how now that the light is not no longer illuminating from the fridge, that he just appears to be like a white mist. That what That's what happens in a lot of these videos. People appear to be something that they're not just because the night vision cameras is trying to pick up something being there when it's not having a lot of light source to pull from. Big brain. After a few seconds, the room is suddenly lit up by light once again, this time by the room's overhead lights. Once the lights are on, we can clearly see that the area near the counter is completely vacant. Whatever the strange white shadow was, it disappeared in the instant that it took for the light to come on. And that also could be a different shot. It could be a different shot a later, you know, because the camera isn't moving, so it's very easy to put two pieces of footage together and make it seamlessly, if, as long as the camera's staying in the exact same spot the entire time. Moments later, a man walks into the room completely oblivious as to what's been happening mere seconds before. Yeah, you see the man walk into the room? I bet you if they turn that light off, he will appear to be just how that figure was before. It's unclear what exactly caused the strange white shadow depicted in the video. And the what night was the bizarre flash of light? The night vision. That's what did it. That could just as well be the exact same guy too. Whatever the case may be, the suddenness in which it appeared and disappeared seems to indicate that the entity was far from human. No list of scary ghost videos would be complete without at least one creepy ghost child. Fact. This disturbing footage uploaded to YouTube by YB Normal certainly fits the bill. Because normal is normal. The footage was shot at Leeds Castle in Kent, UK. The video's introduction states that the castle was the place of death of Princess Caroline, daughter of Henry VIII, who died at the age of 13 months from a head wound. Unfortunately, Henry VIII never had a daughter named Caroline. However, the castle was the residence of his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, and their daughter, Mary. Catherine had many failed pregnancies, often suffering from the miscarriages, stillbirths, or sudden infantile deaths of her children. In addition, Henry was a known philanderer who fathered many illegitimate children. So it could be possible that a child named Caroline lived however briefly at Leeds Castle at some point in history. Regardless of the history, the video does seem to show an eerie ghost-like child haunting the castle grounds. The footage seems to have been shot by a tourist visiting the area. Let's see if we can spot any ghosts. They enter the room said to be Caroline's and leave a camera rolling overnight to see if they capture anything unusual. Let's see. Eventually, the camera captures movement. A ghost-like shape seems to rise up from the ground. Ew! I gotta move the fat guy out the way so y'all can see that. That was weird. It almost looked like a child rolls up off the ground. Eventually, the camera captures movement. A ghost-like shape seems to rise up from the ground. 
The figure is white, almost indistinguishable from the wall. However, it stands clearly for several seconds before walking across the room and disappearing. Whether this spirit is the ghost of an unknown princess who died under mysterious circumstances or merely the long dead child of another resident, this tiny ghost seems to be trapped in this abandoned room of the castle. That would suck. So what do you think's going on in this eerie piece of footage? Is it all just an elaborate hoax or something far more sinister? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Mad weird. In this YouTube video, we see Laurie Simmons innocently chatting with her friend, Shana Thomas. They're using an app called Marco Polo, which allows users to record their conversations as a video chat. Something looks familiar about this clip. The pair of women never expected to see something so bizarre show up on the video. Like maybe a day bed or something. I mean, I Laurie moves around the house as she chats with Shana about her desire to buy a new bed. I, I definitely need a smaller bed. Yeah, we only need 70 more likes to hit our goal, baby. Get that like button. And one that's up off. After a few minutes, she settles down into a chair to finish the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's at this point that Shana finally asks the question the viewers have been wondering about throughout the video. And? Is there somebody in your house with you? If you watch closely as Laurie moves around the room, in a few instances, there seems to be a grey figure standing behind her. Yeah. Oh snap! It appears in a few different spots, but usually seems to be standing still, with its hands on its hips. I'll have this one because it doesn't appear to have a face. I went and bought decals. Whoa! If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a figure lurking behind her. Whoa, that's weird. Laurie quickly asserts that she's alone in the house and begins looking around for the mysterious figure. Oh, heck no, though. That looks legit. She's never able to find any trace of the visitor. After reviewing the video, she's convinced that either a ghost or an alien visited her that day. It looked like it could be alien, too, though. I went and bought decal coffee. Oh, heck no. Posted to the Triple Four page on Facebook, this video was shared to us by the owner of the page herself, Shannon Courtright. Shannon explains that the video features her own sister, Robin Pagan, as well as her sister's friend, Katie. As the two were playing a drinking game and filming themselves, the group happened to capture what appears to be a rare supernatural event. Early in the video, Katie points out a cup moving in front of Robin. Ah, uh, this is an interesting way to play two-person Flip cup, put some knives on the table and just move the drink further down to to jump over the knives, depending on who flips the cup the right way the most. I'm rambling. Don't look at that whole cup just moved. However, as the cup is out of Robin and the camera's view, she immediately dismisses it. After playing the game on camera for several minutes, the pair leave the viewer the shot. Moments later, the cup seems to move all on its own. Yo, how that cup move? It repeats this motion several times throughout the video. That's the same cup she flipping. Nah, something ain't right. At one point, the curtain slowly shifts by itself. Joel, shout out to you. Welcome to your first live stream. FTL, baby, FTL. The startling thing about this footage is that Katie moves and flips the cup numerous times while playing the game. The source footage is all one continuous shot. This would make it extremely difficult to hoax the event. There can't be string attached to the cup because it gets flipped several times. There also can't be magnets attached either. It's evident while watching the video that the people aren't aware of this paranormal activity occurring around them. It's not until the video was watched back that they spotted it. 
Shannon explains that the next day, the girls saw that a lamp and lampshade had fallen over and flown across the living room. Even more weirdly, a speaker kept turning on, despite the fact it wasn't plugged in. The final straw for the girls was when something seemed to gently lift Katie's hair into the air. Concerned due to the string of supernatural events, the two went back and watched this video from the previous night, now aware they had started capturing their very own scary ghost videos. I believe them. The paranormal events of the following day, combined with the odd action seen in this video, were enough to convince the pair that they were host to at least one unexpected guest. With this myriad of odd activities all in a row, one has to wonder just how safe the two could feel while staying in that home. Facts. Uploaded by YouTube user Roger Yoshiaki, this next clip seems to have been captured in a nearly empty hospital. Okay. The translated text from the video explains that Rodri thought himself to be alone when he saw the nearby doors open by themselves. Slightly worried but not overly shocked, the healthcare worker gave it some time before he decided to begin filming. The camera holder explains that the doors are automatic, but they require motion for them to be activated. <laughs> In the video, you can clearly see the door open a number of times with no one around. Rodri then meets up with his work partner. The pair hear the sound of the doors once again opening by themselves. The pair decides to approach the doors, finding it curious that they've stopped opening by themselves upon their approach. They Feel better, Rhonda. take a look around the room to see if anything might be activating the doors. There's clearly no one there. However, it's at this moment that the very clear sound of a whistle is heard. Again, the room is empty except for the two workers. Yo, they bug in. They, hear, they know something going on. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a strange disembodied whistle. Now clearly not as alone as they thought they were, the uploader has posted the clip to his YouTube channel for viewers to decide for themselves if he truly came into contact with some sort of spirit that day in the hospital. Posted to YouTube channel Alice in Wonderland 74, this piece of eerie footage seems to show something truly mysterious. The video was captured by a truck driver's dash cam late at night while driving through Georgia. Although the clip is short, the description of the clip only serves to add more. Nah, this looked like it was filmed with a dang on potato 79. The history to the already intriguing circumstances. The figure of a fully white woman is seen standing by the side of the road. Then, just as the truck comes nearer, the woman continues walking right into the road, what? seemingly colliding directly with the truck. Why do they keep doing this mess? Another one. The clip ends, but the video's description goes on to further muddy the mysterious circumstances. The truck driver, afraid he had hit someone, pulled over to the side of the road. Oddly enough, the driver didn't find evidence of a body anywhere nearby. Dismayed, but still concerned, the driver called the police himself, in order to clear up any potential misunderstandings regarding what had happened. Okay. Disturbingly enough, when the driver made contact with the police, they explained that his situation was not unique. In fact, the police officer explained that many such calls had come in, all regarding that very same spot. Many drivers seemingly reported concern over hitting the same ghostly woman, only to find they hadn't hit anything at all. What remains for the driver and the Georgia police, as well as viewers, is the ghostly mystery of the woman's origins. Just where did she come from? And why she reenacted being hit in the same spot on the road over and over again? Exactly. 
Crazy boy. This next clip was originally posted to the home for scary ghost videos. The f I remember this. Yo, this is a trip. This spirit is about to come out of this room, go over to that cart super fast, and then run back in. Facebook page, do you believe in the unexplained? Yes, I do. Host to a vast array of similar videos, this clip in particular is sure to give viewers the creeps. Watch. Recording an empty hallway, the majority of the clip plays out with no one in sight. The quiet emptiness of the hallway is exactly why it's so frightening when the smallest of shadows appears to creep around a corner, only to quickly creep away in the direction in which it initially arrived. Shoo shoo! Woo! That I remember! The small shadow appears to be about the size of a small child moving as a person would. It walks around the corner, then darts back in the opposite direction. That's crazy. The appearance of the small shadow is even more shocking due to just how quickly it appears and then leaves in the midst of the complete stillness of the hallway. Y'all, we're about to be in here for like, this might be close to a three hour live stream. With no human attached to the shadow, it appears it could be some kind of supernatural being. But without further evidence, we may never know the truth about this mysterious clip. So we'll throw it out to you, the audience. What do you think that strange shadow is? Let me know in the comment section below. Man, I still can't make what the heck that was out. Posted to Daily Motion, this next video comes from the pirate themed bar Dreamwater Lounge. While there are many scary videos caught on CCTV, this one is fairly unique. The video was captured on what appears to be a bridge section of the themed restaurant. The area is seemingly empty. Without a soul in sight, an alleged spirit seems to choose that moment to make itself visible. Oh, whoa. That's crazy. The ghostly crazy. figure appears to be relatively white and wispy. It floats right down through the empty area. It's almost as though it knows exactly where it's going, exactly. as it moves too purposefully. It does move very purposefully, and if you watch the, the spirit as it goes to the top up here, or, you know, at least it looks like it's the top of the camera, it does look like it goes behind this lettering, which would indicate that this may not be an altered footage. As the video continues, we watch the ghostly figure continue to move. You see? down the hall at a leisurely pace. Shee. Given the theme of the bar, it's highly possible that many spirits could have been drawn there. Perhaps it's a reminder of the spirit's home, past life, or an area it used to frequent. Some viewers have suggested the video is staged to drum up publicity for the restaurant. That's a possibility. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of info to run with regarding this clip. So, until more evidence comes to hand, this strange video will have to remain a mystery. YouTube user Youngboy Lloyd has provided us with this video as an update to a previous one we featured a few months back. I remember this. Yo, this dude is lighting sage and something happens. In the latest in his string of scary ghost videos, his video explains the most recent haunting he's experienced. Lloyd explains in the video that his children saw a ghost in their home's washroom. He follows his son to the washroom to see what he's talking about. Can you see that again? Where? Lloyd is soon trapped in what may be every parent's worst nightmare. Lloyd remains just outside the door as his son points to the spot where he witnessed the ghost. Y'all, yeah. we hit my goal of 1,500 likes for the live stream. Thank y'all, baby. Thank y'all. The door suddenly springs shut on Lloyd, trapping his son in the bathroom while he's on the other side. Which is so crazy. Watch this. Yo! Yeah, it did that junk so hard and so fast. Lloyd bangs on the door, shouting for his son to no avail. Lizard. The door appears to be kept shut by some sort of supernatural force. Yo. Likely the same force that Lloyd's children witnessed in the washroom in the first place. 
Lloyd continues to attempt to open the door, banging on it and calling his son's name. Even Yo, as the this man got real ghosts and they vicious. You need to get out, man. Get out. Save your child. Yo, ends. That's just how crazy. long it took to finally open the door and get through his son is unknown. But spending any amount of time living in such distress would be unbearable. Given the description of Lloyd's video, it seems quite clear that he no longer feels safe in his own home. That's crazy. This isn't the first time they've witnessed paranormal encounters in their home, as seen in videos that were previously featured. <laughs> Who the ghost is and why it's haunting Lloyd and his family is uncertain. However, what is certain is that Lloyd and his family may never feel at ease under that roof. Yeah, he dropped Would you be that house hunting things. and looking for a new place to live? Or would you brave it out and try and live with this supernatural entity? Oh, I'm Let house me know what you do in the comments section below. I'm not living there no more. You gonna do something like that to my child and scare the mess out of me like that? No, we gotta go. We can't live here no more. This scary Miles, welcome to the last three big baby. The image was posted Thank for the to Reddit by user Trippy Aristocrat. A friend of the poster's partner originally uploaded the image to Facebook to get some opinions on what the strange figure in the mirror could be. In the mirror is an eerie reflection of what looks like a young boy staring back at the camera. It's been reported that the photo was taken in an old cottage built sometime in the 1800s. The uploader rents the quaint old cottage out to guests from time to time. A guest took the photo when they were staying in the cottage alone. The photographer described the figure as a child in old era clothing. The image has since made its way to Reddit where a debate broke out as to what the photo actually shows. There are a couple of opinions but the overwhelming consensus seems to be that the boy is a ghost. Initially people were afraid it could be some type of demonic image in the mirror. However, upon closer inspection it appears that the boy is more sad than angry or evil. Facts. Even though there isn't a lot of background information about it, people are postulating that it could be a forgotten soul who has somehow become stuck in the old cottage. Have you ever had something mysterious appear in a mirror when you were least expecting it? Let me know. No, and I hope I never do. Go in the comments section below. Taken in black and white, there's something seriously creepy going on in this photo, submitted by Slapped Ham viewer TNGirl195761. Firstly, there are a few strange glowing orbs scattered throughout the picture. Yeah. They appear to be translucent in nature, leaving one to speculate their real reason for being there. There's little information regarding the kind of camera that this photo was taken with, but by the angle of the light, it's obvious that the orbs aren't a reflection of the sun. Secondly, and perhaps more frightening, is the transparent apparition in the centre of the photo. Who is that? It looks to be an old woman wearing a plaid robe of sorts. Taken at a historical site in East Tennessee, viewers have speculated that she could be a former slave, back to visit the home she served. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't going to say it. I was like, she definitely looked like a, a, a black woman from slave times. The uploader has stated they have no idea how to use Photoshop and that the image is 100% genuine. No lie, you could have um, hired somebody to Photoshop it, but it looked believable actually. Reddit user Hi Sandwich Man presents us with a seriously spooky image of what appears to be a haunting captured by one of their friends after moving into their new apartment. Inside an apartment complex in Charleston, South Carolina, a woman was taking a picture of her dog sitting in the chair in front of her. In the photo, we can see her second dog wandering off into the background. What's scary is the dog seems to be approaching the ghostly figure of a woman. We're able to see a slightly hunched figure lurking in the shadows. It almost appears as though it has glowing white eyes. The posture of the dog looks like it's testing the waters to see if the figure is friendly or something to be feared. Right. The ghostly figure appears to be that of a woman, 
Some viewers have speculated it could be someone who has potentially passed away inside of the apartment complex. Possibly. Apparently, the woman who took the photo was home alone with all of the windows and doors locked. Unfortunately, without further information, we may never learn the truth behind this mysterious photo. Japanese store owner Momo Hohu uploaded this amusing tongue-in-cheek photo to Twitter when they noticed the toilet paper was being stolen from their restrooms. Many nations and cities all around the world are attempting to secure supplies for their citizens during the COVID-19 crisis. These supplies include everything from food to toiletries to medical equipment to help combat the virus. The Japanese Ministry of Economy and Trade has assured citizens there's going to be a steady supply of toilet paper for the foreseeable future, even if they need to import it from foreign countries. At the beginning of the 2020 pandemic, the Niigata Prefecture store began experiencing a spate of toilet paper thefts. To stop the would-be thieves, the owner decided to take matters into their own hands by invoking a curse upon all those who would steal the toilet paper. The owner wrote curses in kanji, portraying the words for evil and hunger, along with three all-seeing eyes. Their goal was to cause others to believe that a curse would befall them if they were to nap the toilet paper. Apparently, the curse served its purpose, as the rate of toilet paper being stolen in the men's restroom has lowered significantly. <laughs> what? I would be afraid to use the toilet paper, period, to wipe my butt. You gonna curse my booty hole. Cam viewer David Trump 80 brings us a collage of some super scary images from his long-term residence. He claims to have lived in the same location for roughly five years with his family. They consistently hear noises from the upper levels of their house, and their light switches turn themselves on and off at random times throughout the night. To get to the bottom of the mysterious noises, they decided to install a security camera so they could see if an animal had potentially found its way into their home. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear as though there's an animal making the noises. Instead of a lost raccoon seeking a home, they managed to capture a really eerie figure on camera. In a series of photos captured by- Yeah, we got 1800 people in here right now. That's crazy. On a Tuesday? Unheard of. Hit that like button. We might do 19 if you hit that like button. By the security camera, a figure slowly makes itself known. In the first image, a small blur to the left of shot can be seen. Not exactly anything to be alarmed about. However, in the second image, a figure is seen popping up rapidly in front of the camera. Got big. It looks to be wearing a nightgown or dress. Its face is a blurry mess with no discernible features. Crazy looking. The third image is scarier still. It depicts an entity of some kind in a strange forward-leaning posture. It appears to be wearing some kind of white garment around the waist, and it seems as though it's missing a head. If you look closely, the entity can be seen in the mirror in the background. Yeah even more defiant. The homeowner is at a complete loss as to what these photos actually show. So what do you think that strange figure is? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Like a man in his underwear, so I don't know. An estate sale is usually a bittersweet time. Even though it's a place to sometimes score some pretty killer deals, it's usually only because somebody's just passed, passed away. away. This Reddit user, who has since deleted their account, brought awareness to a rather peculiar series of events with these scary images from a local estate sale. They shared that an elderly couple used to live across the street from them. The woman passed away several years ago, and the husband followed shortly after. This picture was taken during the estate sale, but in the background we see a creepy figure. It's a strange, grey-looking humanoid shape, it almost appears as though the figure's arms and legs are shackled together with chains and a collar. Really? Oh, kind, I see it now. The Reddit user did admit that there used to be a slave plantation around the area. Some think that this could be a lost soul of a poor slave attempting to escape a cruel master in a bygone era. Oh, that would suck. Unfortunately, for this, if this was the case, to be even after death you still will be dealing with that oh it was sent to him over a text message so they don't have the original photograph in their possession 
Even though they attempted to increase the resolution, they're not able to get a clearer image of the ghostly figure. It's the uploader stated that they're normally sceptical when it comes to things like this, mm -hmm. but they have admitted that they're not really sure what to make of this mysterious photo. Neither do I. Neither do I. These scary images come from an unknown source. They seem to depict an eerie of figure course. lurking in a darkened bedroom. The anonymous poster claims to have purchased a new camera when this photo was taken. They left the camera next to their bed at night to charge and decided to go out for the evening with some friends. According to the uploader, the camera has a motion detection setting. While at the pub, the owner received a text saying the camera detected movement and took a series of photos. When they reviewed the photos, they were shocked at what they saw. In their bedroom, a shadowy figure can be seen lurking. I would trip out. Unfortunately, the quality is low, but you can make out a person or entity with dark hair. Bro, man, I'm calling police when I get home. Attempting to clarify the image after getting home, the uploader increased the brightness in order to see what it was in their home. The photo appears to show a rather emaciated looking person with an unshaven I'm face lurking in the darkness. The figure's arms look narrow and thin. It's hard to tell whether this is a ghost or an actual intruder. I'm calling the police regardless. Viewers of the photo have mentioned that since the home was in Britain, it may have been constructed over an old tunnel that monks used to use in the Middle Ages in order to escape sieges. The tunnels have since become home to populations of homeless throughout Britain, and this man could have somehow found his way into the house. While a Middle Ages monk tunnel might be a bit of a stretch, the photo is nonetheless creepy. Facts. What do you think? Intruder or ghost? Let me know in the comments section below. Intruder ghost. I'm calling the police. Lots of parents use cameras to keep an eye on their children when they aren't around. Most do. The footage from these cameras don't usually yield that many scary videos. However, in the case of TikToker Crazy TikTok Suck Tea, a nanny cam captured something truly terrifying. Sucky. The camera in question is placed just above an infant's crib. At the start of the video, we can see the baby sleeping fitfully in the darkened room. Facts. You might notice throughout the video that there's a dark shadow just outside the child's crib. Facts. At first, the blob-shaped shadow doesn't seem unusual. It could easily be a large toy or a pile of clothes resting on the nursery floor. In the dim light from the camera, it's impossible to tell what waits just outside the crib. Hey, that is, until something about the shadow changes. Hey, As the camera rolls, a pair of bright, reflective eyes suddenly blink open in the middle of the shadow. Yo. The eyes appear as small points of light watching the sleeping child through the That's bars of the crib. Crazy. A vapor-like hand even if, comes through. If I was the parent of this child and I saw that... I'm freaking out. Through the bars of the crib on the right. Look at that. The video ends before we can see what that is pure evilness happens next. However, the child's tossing and turning could indicate some unsettling energy in the room. Woo. Those who have viewed the video believe the creature is most likely a shadow person. These creepy entities typically appear late at night. They can blend into the shadows in the corners of a room or in darkened doorways. Often, they only appear for a moment before disappearing, making the witness wonder if they really saw something lurking in the dark. Most shadow people cause no real harm other than terrifying those unlucky enough to spot them. In this case, the baby thankfully doesn't wake up in time to spot the terrifying creature. Going out into the dark of night to investigate scary sounds can result in some seriously freaky videos. This one has been... Y'all, real quick, shout out to my moderators hanging out with us tonight, man. The Honey Pineapples. We got Steve. We got Miss Mandy up in here. Shout out to you guys. Um, Making sure I'm not missing nobody. Cool. He shared to TikTok by World Paranormal. As this person discovers, you never know what could be lurking in the dark. The camera's spotlight illuminates an area filled with dense foliage. I know this clip. 
In the center of the screen, we see some sort of cement structure that seems to be the focus of the cameraman's attention. The grass and branches around the structure seem to be rustling, although there's no breeze. These sounds are what likely captured the cameraman's attention in the first place. However, it's unlikely that he expected to see what his camera records a moment later. As the cameraman investigates the sounds, a large creature suddenly stands up from behind the cement structure. Creepy creature. Look at that. What is that? The video is too dark and blurry to make out any features, but the creature is enormous. It appears to have a hunched back and stringy hair hanging over its oddly shaped face. It is very oddly shaped. The creature only lingers for a moment before suddenly running off camera at an unnatural speed. The creature in the video doesn't seem to match descriptions of any known cryptid. None. For now, no one seems to know what to make of this terrifying creature. I don't know what the heck that is. I ain't seen nothing that looked like that. Nothing makes for scary videos quite like a poltergeist, Rex. such as the one that's allegedly haunting TikToker Bunny Squid 95 Poltergeists are a specific type of spiritual entity, with enough energy to interact with the physical world. Facts. Most poltergeists are content with just moving objects around or turning lights on and off. However, some poltergeists have been known to cause more serious damage, yes. such as scratches, bruises or even broken bones that Big show time. up when they attack people sharing a space with them. In this video, the poltergeist in question appears to be more of an innocent variety, for now at least. The TikToker who shared the video regularly posts videos of their ghostly roommate moving random items around the house. In this video, numerous items on the kitchen counter move all on their own. A fast food bag, a knife block, a bottle of dish soap and a bowl. They all inexplicably move even though there's no one around to touch them. What happened? Some viewers believe that a fan in the room most likely caused the items to move. Ain't fan However, ain't the knife that. block and bowl in this video. Like I said last time, ain't no fan move that those objects. A fan can make a piece of paper move from across the other side of the room, but not no dang old thing of knives. That's no what? Oh, are clearly too heavy to be moved by yes, a gust of air. Exactly. Record. Ain't gonna make no bow move, none of that. Look at that, that thing of knives moving. That, look at that! The movements are also unlikely to be caused by someone pulling thin string. Whoever thought that was an idiot? The paper bag specifically moves in several different directions, which would be difficult to accomplish with a hidden string. Sometimes it's Facts. directly below the kitchen, but, um... Is that a... A lot of weird stuff happens down there too. According to the TikToker, the owner of the property is currently researching the home's history in hopes of finding some explanation for the bizarre occurrences. For now, the poltergeist activity remains a mystery. What happened? Oh, snap. There's nothing creepier than dolls. Yes, don't tell me we're coming to the end of this video with dolls. No. Especially ones that start moving on their own. Oh, those are the and worst. That's exactly what this TikToker, Holly Armstrong 20, has managed to capture on film. I remember this clip. This clip reminds me of a Chucky story somebody once told me. In the short video clip, we see the legs of a doll hanging over the edge of a shelf in the closet. The doll looks like a pretty normal toy at first. However, as the camera rolls, something terrifying happens. It's oh clapping First his feet. One leg. Oh lord, that thing was tapping his feet together. Heck nah. And then the other begins swaying back and forth. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my It's Look almost it. like a child kicking their legs when their feet can't reach the ground. There oh ain't no way. I'll be tripping so bad. The video ends abruptly as the small movement was enough to send the TikToker running for the hills. Some who have watched the video believe that it's most likely a hoax set up by someone pulling strings attached to the doll's feet. However, because of the height of the shelf on which the doll sits and the way the doll's legs move, it would be very hard for someone to be pulling strings from a high enough angle without them getting caught on the top of the closet door. Exactly. 
And then look at the I'll multiple, di- <laughs> but also look at the multiple directions that this thing's foot go in. Like, nah. Doll is genuinely possessed and recommend that the TikToker attempt to dispose of the doll immediately. Nah. Unfortunately, not all possessed objects are easy to get rid of. They often find their way back to their original owners in unexpected ways. Which is so weird. Hopefully this unfortunate TikToker is able to find a way to rid themselves of this eerie toy for good. That's why I can't mess with dolls, because they be finding their way back to you like Chucky do. I can't, nope. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That's, that was the thing that always scared me about Chucky when I was a kid, is he found his way back to you, like... I still got to finish watching the, the TV series, The Chucky. That's so good. So good. Many scary videos, such as this one, shared by YouTuber Lil Red the Fam, take place late at night. In this video, a paranormal investigator spends the night in a place said to be haunted while live streaming the darkened room. Is there really a ghost lurking in this home? The video speaks for itself. The eerie clip begins with the investigator asleep in bed. Everything looks normal at first, until her hair begins to move in a way that can't be explained by the wind or a fan. No, by ghosts. That's crazy. A few minutes later, she lifts her arm to scratch her forehead. Then, her arm begins making some very odd motions, as if something was grabbing her elbow and jerking it around in the air. A while later, her hair begins moving around again. This time, the movements are accompanied by some terrifying sounds. And what makes it so bad, this was a live stream. The tape picks up strange tapping sounds and horrifying moans. possible that there's a voice speaking on the tape, but it isn't loud or clear enough to make out any specific words. However, it could also be that she turned the live stream on right as she was getting ready to go to sleep, meaning that she could have somebody in there pulling strings, if you know what I mean. Some viewers claim to hear the words get out. Shortly after, an electromagnetic frequency detector on a nearby shelf begins blinking bright red. Yeah, nah, not me. Nope. While it isn't entirely clear what type of entity is showing up in these scary videos, one thing is for certain. The spirit definitely doesn't seem too keen on sharing this bedroom with anyone else. According to Slaptown viewer Matt West, something strange is going on in a home in Lumberton, Texas. A friend of his who recently bought the property in question was walking around taking a video. He wanted to show a before and after view of the renovations, but something unexpected showed up on the film. Already a nice the home. The starts with a shot of the outdoor pool before heading in. Already a nice home, but this backyard definitely looked like it could use some work. Inside. It's a big old house. Is a the big light house. inside the house is dim, creating a lot of shadows. I want a big house. Where anything could be hiding. As he turns into what appears to be the living room, there seems to be something odd in the darkened doorway on the other side of the room. The camera moves away quickly, but a second later, the strange entity appears again, just to the other side of the same doorway. It isn't until viewing the footage later that the homeowner noticed that something was amiss. When looking at the video more closely, the entity... Ah, uh, I think I've debunked this clip already. I'm... Yeah, we've seen this. He appears to be a person moving slowly out of the doorway. It's not a person moving slowly out of the doorway. 
according to the legends? It's something like a chair. The, the quality is so trash of this video footage. When look, it's something like a chair or something, and has something sitting on top of. Looking it. at the video more closely, the entity appears to be a person moving slowly out of the doorway. No. See, it's right here. It's sitting right here, and this is something on top of it. It's nah. Uh -uh. No, no. According to the legends about this house, years ago, a physically handicapped man died in this home when he fell into the outdoor swimming pool and drowned. The home's later residents claimed to have spotted a ghost in a wheelchair numerous times while living on the property. If you slow the footage down when the camera swings back towards the doorway, it does indeed look like someone in a wheelchair blurs past the camera. Okay, right there, it did actually look like somebody in the wheelchair blur past the camera. That actually gave me the chills, for real. If you slow the footage down when the camera swings back towards the doorway, it does indeed look like someone in a wheelchair blurs past the camera. It's crazy. It does look like if that. If this video is any indication, it seems that the new owner can also expect visitations from the ghost of... But right there, it doesn't, though. It looks like something completely different. It seems that the new you, owner... You can even see stands like a... Like... Like... Like a coat rack. No, it can also... You see the legs? You see the legs on the floor? It's like three feet. Leg. Expect visit Citations from the ghost of a previous it's resident. Crazy. Well, right here, it does look like a wheelchair went by. I don't know. I give up. I give up on that crazy clip. But y'all, we've made it to the end. Two hours and 45 minutes is live stream. I don't know about y'all, but I am ready to hit the sack. I saw some of y'all was leaving. A lot of y'all was getting just as tired as your boy. But anyway. Thank y'all for hanging out with your boy tonight. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday, but I made it up for it today with this big, long live stream. But y'all know what time it is. Y'all had a good time with me. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Artie Kicks. And I'm going to catch you, beautiful people.